Hi everyone, I'm Audrey. And I'm Anthony. Together we are re and Audrey, how are you doing tonight? I'm doing well. How are you doing tonight? I'm doing Anthony? well. Thanks you. Thank you guys for tuning in. Mm-hmm. Tonight's exciting, isn't it? Oh, it is. Yeah. Because. Because. We. we are. Starting. starting Metal, Metal Gear, Gear Solid, Solid 5. 5. The Phantom Pain. <laughs> the Phantom Pain. For the first time. For the first time. time. Fin- oh. It's been so long. Yes. Actually, have we ever done a duo stream full playthrough mm. of a game that neither of us have played? We have. What was that? That was Cyber Shadow. Cyber Shadow. Mm-hmm. I mean, we've that was it's not a you know story really, yeah, but we yeah, that's neither true. of us had touched it. But uh, that's something we tried together. Yeah, that's true. Uh, and you know things like uh, Yuppie Psycho. You know that's right. Okay, so it's just games. been a while then. It's been a while then. It's been a while. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, okay, I mean we've been doing this Metal Gear Solid for yeah. for a while. So yeah, yeah. yeah the it's year of Metal Gear Solid. Yes. Somehow it ended up this way. Mm-hmm. A bunch of non promises. And, and and here we are. And here we are. Having played five five of the Metal Gear Solid games. Five of them. One, oh, two, wait, three, sorry, four. Peace Walker? Peace Walker and Ground Zeroes. That's six. Ground Zeroes. Oh, six. Yeah. Okay, six of them. Yeah. So no promises. No promises for any more. No promise. Maybe we won't be playing. Ground <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh, I'm, so- I'm sorry. I forgot to switch the logo. Oh, I have the logo on uh, the flash drive. That's okay. Okay, I can I can fix you. it. But uh, yeah, if you wanna greet. But um, thank you guys yeah, for tuning here. in. Let's say hi to some people in chat. We got Rafa recovering from a crazy packed weekend. Stay hydrated. Oh, yeah, right. Stay rested. Thanks for tuning in and offering your help. I don't know how this is going to go because I've never played this game. But um, thank you for offering yourself up for uh, for assisting us in case I need it. And we got Snake here. What's up, Snake? Snake. Your English is fine. Oh. I learned English thanks to Metal Gear Solid 2. Oh, when the game released in Latin America, not coming with Spanish subs. Oh. Out of necessity. Learning in English out of necessity <laughs> is awesome. Yeah. Awesome. Metal Gear Solid English. Yes. Wait, who, who was that? Snake, you said? Yeah, yeah. That's what sweet, What if Snake man. actually talks like Snake? Oh, that's just how you speak? Snake, do you have any sibling brother? <laughs> you just have to refer to your brothers. <laughs> brother. Thank you for tuning in. And La Bamba's here. It is a momentous occasion. La it Bamba, is Because this will be the first game in a while yep. for a duo stream on our channel, which features both Audrey and I, where neither of us have played it. Yeah. I have played like 30 minutes of The Phantom Pain mm-hmm. many years ago. But other than that, I don't know anything. I, You know... It's been a- around for a while, mm-hmm. 2015. So I've just seen things out of context on the internet. Mm-hmm. So I, I, I don't know what I know. If that so, makes sense. So when you played Ground Zeroes, was it before Phantom Pain came out? Is that what you said? No, I played Ground Zeroes with the intention of then playing the Phantom Pain, and oh. I just never did. Okay. It was probably whatever was going on at the time. Yeah. Um, yeah, so I hope that answers your question, Labamba. Labamba was un- wondering if I know anything. Audrey knows less than me for sure. Yeah, I only know what I said last week, which is I think like one character's name. Sure, sure. Uh, you watch trailers, Snake. When the game was being marketed around release, I watched the trailers, but I haven't watched them since. There is some imagery from the trailers burned in my mind. On one hand, Kojima's trailers are incredible. Uh huh. On the other hand, they're pretty dang spoiler. Oh, I can't even think of the the reveal. It's the one with that song, Nuclear. Oh. Which was incredible. His song choices for trailers are really, really good. I remember the song. I cannot remember any of the imagery for some reason. But then I knew that I wanted to play this game, so I I didn't want I I didn't Mm. rewatch or watch any new trailers. Nice. Um, I think I remember when maybe they revealed just the logo for it. Yeah, and okay. there's there's certainly stuff to talk about there. Yeah, and I don't know the internet uh, sleuths were able to decipher. Yeah, it was like kind of cryptic, but they were able to see like the Phantom Pain, Metal Gear Solid Five 
or something yeah. within the I don't know. I don't know. So before Metal Gear Solid Five was announced, there was this quote unquote new video game studio called was it called Moby Dick Studios? I don't know. Turns out it was a fake developer oh. teased the game called the Phantom Pain. Oh. Right. I see. And the logo for the Phantom Pain, you actually have it here on the screen. Right here. Yeah. But it was just this logo Without minus the Metal Gear Solid 5. That's what but it the was. cutouts yeah. for those letters were cut out of it was it was cut out that of the is Phantom Pain. Impressive. That is impressive that someone was able to figure that out. Yeah, they filled <laughs> it in pretty quickly and they're I like, they're like this was, is Metal Gear Solid 5. Yeah, I bet you someone was just like, it's gotta be Metal Gear and yeah. they were just like trying to find the right font or something like that. Yeah, within like <laughs> 10 minutes of the trailer, yeah. Mm. Labama <laughs> says, oh. I would watch the trailers after you're done with this game, not before, gotcha. Okay, okay. okay. So, uh, sounds good. Yeah, it took, took only a few hours. I'm impressed. Pretty sweet. Yeah, very sweet. Well, I wonder why Moby Dick Studios. Let's not. Oh, don't even. I don't know. So. There, it oh, might, it there might be. have some relevance. We don't know. There might be some meta thing. I knowing Kojima. I love it. Yeah, seemingly meaningless things can become meaningful. I love it. Yeah. Yeast, how's it going? And Fox Sound is hey, here Yeast. too. Thanks for tuning back in. Welcome, so, welcome. Nice like, to meet you. Oh, yes, yes. Um, so, yeah, no spoilers, Snake. Yeah. Appreciate that. Nice shirt, by the way, Audrey. Thank and you. Snake. This is from the uh, yeah, no spoilers, right. Nintendo What's a Fox New Sound? York store. We cool go, store, by the way. Yeah, very cool store. Um, got way too many plushies there. Yep. <laughs> um, we bought a bunch of gifts. We did, and it was painful to give them away. Yeah. <laughs> this was one of them. The leafy on that sits behind me was one of the ones we got from that store. Yeah. Um, also, the people in the Moby Dick Studios shirts were seen hanging around with Konami people, which also gave it away. Oh. Ah, <laughs> IRL, um, yeah. social spoilers. Yeah, Darn. I mean, Kojima does that a lot. Even with Death Stranding, he was wearing a Death Stranding shirt before it was even announced. I it was think just like, a, it just said DS or something like that. Oh, okay. I was like, I know yeah. that shirts have been used to reveal things. Yeah. So whenever there's like a press conference or, or something, yeah, I feel like I'm always looking at the sh at, at yeah. their outfits. I'm like, what can I what can I take from the outfits sort of thing? Yeah. Never been, but walked by it before. Nice, Fox nice. Town. Maybe pop in sometime. In it's pretty sweet, even just to look around if you yeah. don't want to get anything. They have like I don't know if it's changed since then, mm. but they have little um Displays. a little museum, a mm -hmm. display of all of like the uh, the consoles. Yeah, it's just cool to look at. Yeah. Um, but before we dive into the game, <laughs> wait, Rafa says no oh. box credit pregame or any type of spoilers that this game has dished up from before. I, I have not seen the box. Wait, have I? I mean, this box is different and it's pretty dang spoilery because this oh, is the is? um the definitive edition that uh, includes both yeah. Ground Zeroes and Phantom Pain, so. Yeah. Um, yeah. Sorry, what were you gonna say? Uh, before we dive into the game and start it, mm -hmm. I feel like it would be appropriate to discuss the homework that we did. Yep. Um, assignment number one was that we, we assigned for ourselves to listen to or read transcripts of Paz's diary, yep. which was technically available at the end of Peace, Peace Walker. Walker, right, right, And we right. felt, especially after playing Ground Zeroes, we wanted that context. Yes. So we read that. Mm -hmm. We read, we didn't listen to it. We didn't have time. Yeah. The other thing that I wanted to assign is, I think Labamba gave me the idea as a way to practice the gameplay for the Phantom Pain to do the side ops in Ground Zeroes while also unlocking the Chico tapes of which there were seven mm -hmm. tapes that you could just do side missions to unlock. Yep. And then they were tape recordings that Chico uh, left behind, recorded from his time in captivity. Yep. On, in this uh, prison camp. Mm -hmm. I forgot the name of it. Mm -hmm. Camp Omega, I think. Okay. Um, we also read the transcripts of that. Yep. So let's talk about the pause ones real quick. So these were let's specifically her diary, uh, audio diary, after chapter four. Mm-hmm. When she, her real mission starts, mm -hmm. when she begins to uh, make modifications to Zeke. That's right. What did you learn? I remember you told me. Audrey read oh. the first two uh. <laughs> diary entries. And what did you say about Paz? So reading it, I'm sure listening to it is a different experience too. But reading it, I couldn't help but maybe just think it was a little funny. Yeah. Because the way she uh, wrote the diary... Yeah. came off a little bit sundere to me Definitely. so 100%. she's just like uh yeah i like i don't care about these people hmm 
I don't want to have fun with them. They forced me to go fishing. They put the fishing reel in my hand. And I know that obviously that's not how she performed it. But yeah. I, I just, when I read it, I was like, oh, yeah. Really we should she, listen to it eventually. She, yeah. She is making it very clear. She wants, no, like, she does not want to get attached. involved or attached with these people. She's just putting up a front. And she's At constantly least, looking down on them. She's constantly looking down on them. Yeah. At least initially, she's always like, I, I'm just doing, I, I, freaking hate it here I despise them, yeah. yeah they're they're all like like there's the there's a kitten or something and i a oh, stupid kitten yeah. kind of thing um and you throughout the entries you kind of see how maybe not explicitly but she starts to feel some kind of way connection yeah connection the, the beginnings at least of bonds bonds with these people she initially despised mm-hmm, mm-hmm. yeah yeah even in, in even when her reaction to the kitten, she welcomed the kitten's like comfort when yes. she was sick. I was Staring like, at the clouds. you can't resist the kittens. Yeah, yeah. Um, Nuke. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I gathered the same thing. I think that was the whole point of it. Like she was dead set on this mission in Diary Entry One, looking down on everyone. Like Ugh, I have to put up this front. Mm. And by the end, she's explicitly voicing concerns about. She said, like, when did I start to think this way mm -hmm. in one of the entries? Mm -hmm. So I think it was, um, it's certainly interesting getting character development in this way. Yeah. For me, I maybe you think the big turning point in the entries was when she was sick and then Snake came in to, like, kind of check in on her. Yeah. And I, I just remember, I don't remember exactly what she said, but at the end she was like, like, uh, we're going to have to fight, and maybe it wouldn't, like... It wouldn't I, be so wouldn't bad be, to be killed by this guy. I wouldn't mind being killed by this guy. Like, kind of like... It was like respect. A weird in-between where it's like, she knows they're going to have to confront each other, but yeah. also it's like, well, maybe it's not That's okay a good call if it's on the him, turning point. you know, sort of thing. Definitely. Um, which may even suggest, also suggest that she has feelings for Snake. What those feelings are, we don't know. Yeah. But, yeah. Yeah. At least respect. At least, beginnings. at least respect. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, I gathered the same things. Mm -hmm. Really interesting read. <laughs> yeah, by the end. So, are these diaries or or actual voice? Like recording? audio diaries. Audio They're, diaries. Yeah, okay, because yeah. I, I remember reading the last diary, and it's literally like her dialoguing everything up until the point where Zeke like ascends. Yeah, to, she's to like, fight. it ends with like, like Metagur Zeke. Activate. I see. I yeah. see. Okay. Okay. I was like, it was right she's... when she got caught by Chico. Right. Right. And the, f the, the ironic thing, so the last two entries, okay, so the important thing that had, that of the last like three entries, which gives context to the Zeke fight, is that she was invited to sing. Oh, yes. In yeah. a, like essentially a garden festival. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> a festival. A garden festival? A, a peace day. Yeah. Right, that they declared once a year they'll celebrate peace day. Yeah. The three piece band. Yeah. And she was practicing and she was excited and she's like, dude, no. She starts uh, lamenting about the fact that Zeke is complete. Yeah. Oh my God, Zeke is complete. That's a can. I don't know if I, I can do anything to delay this. Yeah. Because I want to sing at the thing. She actually wants. She to actually participate. wants. To, she's like, I've been practicing. What can I do? And she oh. actively decides to sabotage Zeke Crazy. in order to delay the plan, Crazy. so she can have she can sing. Yeah. But love that. Someone informed Cipher that Zeke was complete, so she also drops that she suspects. There's another That's agent right. in Mother Base, right? She suspects that. I forgot about how that. How else does Cipher find out and then tell her to execute the mission? Look at that. So be. she gets caught by Chico actually trying to sabotage Zeke. Yeah. And so she's like, all right, it's go time. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, we forgot that one, Snake. We forgot to listen to Ava's audio. Oh, Peace Walker. shoot. That'll be homework for next time. Okay. Um, and yeah, there's um there is a moment. We we do kind of find out, or at least through uh, Paz's Paz's eyes, that she suspects that Chico has feelings for her. Yeah. And at the end, or at that moment when Chico finds her, she's doesn't she say something like, "I could have killed him." Yeah, she says, "I could have killed him," but she doesn't. She doesn't. Yeah. So I don't. I mean, yeah. More more indications of change. Yeah. She's so it was a really interesting read, and yeah. it's 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 a interesting method of character development. On yeah. one hand, it's these like tucked away cassette tapes. Mm -hmm. On the other hand, it's like really personal. Yeah. 
because it's just a character talking to themselves. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, being I, being their true self. It is, is like yeah. reading their diary. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. pretty interesting. Pretty interesting. Also, I think I was so like I kept thinking like, oh, who is um, who is um, Hal Emmerich's mother? I thought it was gonna be strange love, but don't don't spoil it for me yet. We still don't know. And in the in the Hoss's diaries, um. They say, or they at least suggest that Doctor Strange Love is attracted to women. Mm -hmm. Maybe, maybe by we don't maybe know. Maybe by we don't know. But then I was like, oh, I, I mean, I, I was like, maybe who is Hal's mom? And so that's that's another question I have. I don't, I don't even know if it's important. I just remember yeah, it might be a that. question going forward yeah. because now that we know the setting, yeah, for these these games. It could, um, it, they might. It's still up in the air. Yeah. But I do remember in the credits, at least when they do the timeline thing, mm -hmm. they just say. Uh, Huey has a son. Yeah. They don't say who, they don't indicate who the mother okay. is. So that's another question to keep in mind as we go forward. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So the second piece of, oh my gosh, my earbud. <laughs> um, <laughs> I just want to backtrack on chat sure. real quick. Uh, you gotcha. asked if we played Monaco, what's yours is mine. Well, it's been suggested as, to us before. Yeah. It's like a multiplayer heist game. I think I remember. Down. The suggestion. With different roles. But we haven't played it yet. We so it. Uh, noted. And Rafa said it was pretty accurate what I said about Paz, I think. Yeah. About her sin today. You locked into that character trope immediately. What do you mean? Oh, oh, you mean because of the the way it came off in the yeah. diary? Oh, yeah, yeah for yeah. sure, for sure. Um, like, if she just. Audrey's like, oh, this kind of. Yeah, game. if she said Baca, you know, like in the middle, <laughs> I would have been like, oh, I mean, I'm, I'm not surprised. <laughs> um, and. Um, I can, yeah, I can, yeah, okay, yeah. Ava's audio on Peace Walker. Yeah, we, we're going to okay, have to check we'll it out. we'll check it out later. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And Fry Sauce is here. Again, Fry if sauce. you have Thanks recommendations for things for us to do to enrich our experience in these games, we do have the backseating channel on the Discord. Mm. Just make sure you use the um, spoiler tags feature on Discord. All right, so next piece of homework is I did indeed play a bunch, some Ground Zeroes off stream. Nice. It was pretty fun, and I got the hang of... Um, Ground Zeroes, the gameplay. So you're ready. I'm more ready than if I hadn't. Mm. So thank you for the suggestions, guys. Mm. Um, and I collected all of the Chico tapes. Pretty challenging. Mm. Killed a lot of soldiers. Mm -hmm. No stealthing. Mm -hmm. Well, some stealthing. Yeah. And I got the tapes. And um, so I, I um, was a little curious about the game after we finished it. So sure. I did a little bit of googling on my own. Yeah. Um, careful and, googling. Yeah, I care very careful googling. At some point, I just stopped because I was like, I'm afraid what I'm going to come across. I didn't realize that there's kind of like there was so much more to do, and also I didn't realize that you can do things out of events, uh, out of um, order. Yeah, yeah. Out of the order that they suggest to you to kind of get a different ending, almost maybe. Yeah. Um, I thought that was interesting. So, so one of the things I I think it's okay for me to say, right? Sure. I maybe I read I don't know what you're that you could go straight to pause. Yes. Instead of go rescue Chico first, which is kind of like what they kind of suggest yeah. or, you know, that's kind of like the first thing they tell you to do. Yeah. You can go seek pause first. Yeah. And then there could be a different kind of outcome for... Which I probably missed. Chico. Yeah. So I was like, whoa, that's pretty interesting. Anyway, sorry. What were you saying? Yeah. So you, you got the tapes. I got the tapes. Mm -hmm. And in preparation for potent for the potential for us to listen to them on stream, I at least wanted to screen it for Audrey. Oh, mm hmm First of all, the Chico takes tapes in total are like really long. It's like mm -hmm. 33 minutes. Mm -hmm. First red flag. Mm -hmm. Second is I I read the transcript for it, then I remembered I don't know if is controversy controversy is harsh. Mm. But there were feelings out there about it. Maybe like content warning. Content warning. Yeah, sort of thing. So mm -hmm. we decided that Audrey and I would just both read the transcripts also to save time. Mm -hmm. We don't have a lot of time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So we read the transcripts mm -hmm. and we understand the events that took place. Yeah. From those tapes. It is intense if you want to know there is a fandom wiki page where you can read the transcripts of the tapes the chico tapes mm -hmm. from ground zeros but it it illustrates the horrors that they alluded to mm -hmm, mm -hmm. that takes place on this american soil that is not subject to the constitution 
Right. Okay. Yeah. So yeah. a lot of uh, very intense things happen to these characters. Yeah. These. A child. Yeah. Yeah. It's. I don't think I've ever heard of that kind Sorry, of Cuban soil lent to to America. Occupy, that's right, that's, that's right. what it was. Yeah. I, I was like, I don't think I've ever played a game, or at least yeah, played a game for sure where they have like this kind of. Um, Sexual violence. Yeah, yeah, basically. So it's pretty Involving intense. Involving a child. Yeah. I was, it was very intense. So we Scary. decided to just have the context for ourselves. Yeah, and that if you guys me, want it, then make sure you read it yourselves. That makes me feel like this skull face guy is... Brutal. Like, maybe the worst of the Metal Gear solid villains so far. Yeah. So we just want you guys to know that we have the context. Yes, we have it. Appreciate your suggestions. We have it. Yeah. Um, Thank you for screening those. Yeah, no problem. Mm -hmm. But I think we're ready mm -hmm. to dive into <gasps> the Phantom Pain. Our first playthrough. Our first playthrough. Thank you guys for being Yay. here. Thank you all. It's rough. Really yeah. It. Very intense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hopefully, the experience is good for Audrey. We made some tweaks so that to reduce Audrey's um, motion sickness mm -hmm. experience. Mm -hmm. So, if there's issues, Audrey. Yeah. Like, look away. <laughs> yeah, look away. You know, of I, course, got, of I course. got some ginger candies here. Yeah. You know, if you need to switch over to the input on your monitor, then make sure to disable the audio monitoring. Oh, sure. I, I, I yeah. probably won't. Um, okay, let's okay. jump in then. Boop. All right. Okay, so we're we're in the game. Okay. We're in the game. Uh, as always, let us know if we need to adjust any audio levels. Wait, why does it say play Grand Zeros first? Uh, I just, I'm just hanging on the screen. I see. I have I to see. make a choice. I see. Um, this is where we started last week as well. Hype Rafa. Yeah. yeah. God, is the it going to... Oh, sorry, go sorry, is mm. if you're watching through the capture preview, reds are A worse little. quality. Okay. So if you can't tolerate that, then switch over. No, it's yeah. fine. Okay. I am not particular. Okay. Oh, uh, yeah. Brother. Fry sauce. Yes, yeah, the ceremonial brother. I can't do it very well. Brother. I wish I could. Yeah, equip the ginger candy snake. <laughs> 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 What's up, devil? All right, here we go. Hey, devil. So, what, what do we know about Phantom Pain? Just what they showed us in the little teaser at the end of Ground Zeroes. Uh, which was... Coma. <laughs> the coma? I, for I yeah. forgot about that. God, are we going to get another intestines moment? I don't know, dude. No spoilers. Don't tell us yes or no. Don't do tell us. Deny. I, I don't want to know. So years ago, I played a little bit of the beginning of this, but I don't remember anything. Okay, I ha I've literally not seen any of this. Well, this is a work of fiction. That's what mm -hmm. Lale Lule Lo wants us to think. <laughs> okay. Speaking of, we haven't heard that in a while. Mayday! Mayday! Control's unresponsive. Tower, do you read? Shit. Comms are down. Game started. I mean, do you hear the sounds? Yes. Mayday, mayday? Okay. It is no nation we inhabit, but a language. Make no mistake, our native tongue is our true fatherland. Oh, well, I usually like to go into options first, but here we are. Just another day in a war without end. Outer Heaven. Hmm, what is that? Like the title of this section, maybe? I don't know. From the man who sold the world. Is that a vape right there? Oh. oh, it's a Bowie reference. Thank you. Thank you. All right. That hand. We're going to get flagged. Whose hand was that? That... Was that? Um... No, that couldn't have been... The professor's hand. It's a doorknob. The doorknob. I mean, it looked like you know when he does that. He when he threw, threw oh, up what that. What am I doing? What am I doing? What does that mean? <gasps> hey, Danny, how you doing? This song. I'm not familiar with this song. Is it supposed to be motion controls? 
Robin Atkin Downs. Uh huh. Is that's, that? Uh, cause. Oh, gonna have to mute the body up. Troy, Troy Baker. Baker. Oh, this is a cover. There is some licensed music. Okay, That's okay. Fine. We'll deal with it. We record these VODs in multi-tracks anyway, so if we need to. It's fine. We'll pay the license fee. You're controlling this right now? Yeah, just the camera. Okay. Is that is this an indication of the era probably like they did with the Carpenter song? Could be to Lori Allen. Oh no. Can you remind me? That's the boss's voice. That's the boss? The credits again. Credit spoilers. It's also Pearl from uh, SpongeBob. It's Pearl Pearl and the boss have the same voice actor? Yeah. Tara Strong. Yeah, you remember um Mr. Krabs' daughter? Tara Strong was uh with Paws? Paws, yeah. Yeah. Just enjoy the 80s tunes. Yeah. We will devil. Pearl Crabs oil. Yeah. <laughs> Donna Burke. Hey, this is about where Ground Zero's ended, right? This scene? Yeah. I think we're getting there. <laughs> we still don't even know who this is, really. I mean, we assume it's Snake, right? It's first person. SpongeBob spoiler stream. No Metal Gear game has ever started this way. Definitely not. At least the Metal Gear Solid games we played. <coughs> Oh. Get back, Simon. <laughs> what language is that? I forgot. There's a new vo snake voice actor. <laughs> Starting with the Ground Zeroes, yeah. Starting with the first Ground Zeroes. Kiefer Sutherland. Okay, yeah. I was like, it doesn't sound like Snake, but it is, I think. V has come to. That's, is that the boss? V has come to. <gasps> oh. That voice, that that kind of like digitized voice, kind of sounded like the uh, you know the chrysalis voice. A little bit, yeah. A little bit. That was Donna Burke doing the iDroid voice. Oh, the iDroid. We heard that voice in the uh, in Ground Zero. Turn subtitles on if get if it gives option option. Absolutely. Yeah. I was thinking that. That's exactly. why I was hoping we had options yeah. first. Okay, control options. I left it default. Control well, settings. Sorry. Yeah. What did she say? V has activated. V has come to. Oh, V has come to. Did 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 the nurse say something about V two or something? I don't know. No, we just heard something. Okay, we just heard something. Okay. Sorry, let me controller speaker off. Weapon quick switch type. Oh. Horse controls. You don't say. <laughs> oh. I think you're did gonna you? get a horse, maybe. Option spoilers, La Bamba. That's just uh, aim. There's some. Maybe we're going to be shooting a gun, perhaps. Perhaps. <laughs> okay, I think this is what I did in Ground Zero's camera change speed max, camera shake off for Sweet. Audrey. Thank you. Display settings, subtitle display on, everything on. Nice. Sound settings. There's going to be sound. Oh, there's sound. <laughs> chicken hat. I think I know what this is. Set whether to use a chicken hat. After restarting for a checkpoint following a game over. You get three free uh, 
checkpoints? Three free, you won't be detected. Oh? So it's like assistance. Oh. Chicken hat. Oh, okay. uh, I think that's it. All right, we're ready. You ready? Yeah, this um title screen is pretty intense. Yeah, it's pretty. It's pretty. It's weirdly pretty. Those you know, pedals. The yeah, pedals. The, the boss pedals. pedals. Yeah, the boss pedals. God. Who is man? Did you turn on subs? I did. Okay, maybe in different languages it doesn't show. It was either on, foreign language only, or off. Ah. I'm pretty sure I said it was on. Can you hear me? I'm in Are control. Are you having difficulty speaking? Can you move your head? Just nod. <laughs> Are you, you moving it up hear. and down? Yeah. Cute. Were you able to identify that language? No. Yeah, I wonder if that British flag is a red herring. Look. Or it's a this. country that has oh. a UK occupation. Very good. How do you feel now? Can you speak? What is your name? When were you born? <laughs> Can you recall? Oh, what? Okay. Okay. Have we legit, forgotten everything? Legit question. Does this have any effect and is this referenced in the game? Does this have any effect? With n no spoilers, please. Just... Or is this just our account for Metal Gear Online? Oh. Not really. The name, no. Okay. Uh, is it like maybe in Metal Gear Solid 2 when we made like a... Didn't we make like a name? Yeah, but, or it's a like, but for that, it was also opportunities for some Easter eggs too. Because I'm just going to put Rini. Uh, Not just an account for uh, Metal Gear Online, but it won't affect anything. Only the date unlocks some Easter egg. Okay. So then it's like the old stuff. Oh, dude, should we put in, what is it, April? No. I was going to put Rini's birthday. Yeah, but what, what, was, what, what, am I, what is the date? April 30th. Thinking, April, April 30th, thir that's probably an Easter egg. Yeah, that's got to be. No, can I put Rini's birthday? How could I forget the date of all dates for me to forget? April 30th. <laughs> you want April 30th? No, no, this? no, I was just kidding. I was just kidding. If you put dumbass, I promise it'll be Lala. <laughs> <laughs> Well, feel free to share those when it's appropriate on our Discord. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. Is that what you did, La Bamba? You discovered that all on your yeah, own? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. It was such an important date, BK. How oh, your I second one, gotcha. Good. Oh, after you knew, La Bamba. <laughs> Please try to relax. There is plenty of time. I need to tell you something. Please listen and try not to panic. Oh, God. Th You've I'm already panicking. You've been in a coma for quite some time. Yes, yes, I know you would like to know how long. I'm afraid it's been nine years. Damn it! No so coma! No so coma! No so coma! Nurse! Calm down. Come down. Try not to panic. Wait a second. Try not to panic. You'll be all right. God, who else was on that helicopter with us? Kaz, uh, Chico, a soldier. It's been one week since you came too. Now, let's try getting you out of that bed. 
Nurse. Don't worry. You've lost some strength, but we've been maintaining your muscle mass through massages, CPM therapy, and EMS. CPM therapy? Now, I need to explain something to you, but you must not be alive. God, I was trying to Nine listen to the radio. Years ago, you were injured in an explosion. Dude. Is that shrapnel. all shrapnel? Upon Jeez. examination, we discovered 108 foreign bodies embedded within. In addition to shrapnel, we also found fragments of human bone. Oh, human God. I, oh, my God. Most of it was removed, but... That's pause. Some of the fragments still remain. They are located near your heart and in your skull. Oh, that's a big. Uh, the fragments are lodged deep within your cerebral cortex. We couldn't give you an MRI, the metal you see. But even if we were to extract it, you would most likely suffer a brain hemorrhage. Mental and physical impairment are unavoidable. However, your current status is not life-threatening. One more thing. This X-ray is of your upper body. You better look now. Best to understand your situation sooner than later. I know it's difficult. Oh! But please look down. It's best to see with your own eyes. Be brave. Knocked us out again. It's been Boss nine is years. always with us now, devil. No. Yeah. <laughs> Literally, actually. Could have at least given him a meal before dropping what, that bombshell for you. Jesus? I don't even know. It almost sounds like a lie. It's true. There are those who wish he would never woken up. Those who wish we'd never woken up. You should be dead. But you're not. The wheels are in motion. Remember, your don't tell us anything. Yeah, Fred. yeah. You must alter your appearance. Wait, what? Your enemies are... Otherwise, I fear you won't leave this place alive. Who is oh. this? It's a wide open world out there. So there's something we need to take care of first. Who the heck is this? I'm going to change your appearance. We have no other choice. We're gonna get what you look like, however. Plastic surgery, right? What year is it? I tried to look at the calendar in the wall. 1984, I believe. What? Okay. I feel like this is just for the Metal Gear Online. Oh, really? I don't know though. But then but there's but this probably is the some story. story significance. Yeah, I mean Literally, he's telling us. Character creator in a Metal Gear Solid game is my worst nightmare. <laughs> Why? I don't like character creators. <laughs> uh, Ground Zero was 1975, and he said nine year coma. Okay, okay, yeah. cool. Cool, cool, cool. 84 then. <sighs> um, I mean. You can choose, Audrey. I'll let okay. You choose. You want me to just go for for like random numbers? Okay. Random number generator up to Is there is there Oh my god, do I want to know from chat like does this matter? Do I want to know? Do we want to know? What is the how many numbers are there total? 1 through 28. 28. Yeah. Okay. You can do random numbers. 6. 6. Okay. 
let's commit. Commit? Any changes? Or leave it? I, I mean, say leave it. Oh, really? Hairstyle? Wait, wait. Not even hair? Let's just look at the hair, at oh. least. That is the hairstyle. I want to see the other hairstyles. Oh. That's it? That's it. Oh. This is not exciting. There's nothing that goes beyond the shoulders? <laughs> no, I'll go back to four. Okay. That looked good. Okay. Does good? not matter. Context will reveal itself. Thank you. Matter okay, is a wide open you. word. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. Don't think it really matters, but I haven't played much of this game. Oh, okay, devil. Sounds good. Okay. Yes. Let's use it. <sighs> Too stressful. Whoa. Dude. That fast. <laughs> Wait. That was really fast. Now, let's remove these bandages. Hmm, your face has healed nicely. To tell you the truth, these bandages were more for your protection. To hide you from those who want you dead. What does this guy know? As of today, your name is Ahab. Look, what is this? What is going on? Forget that. Oh. Your name. Your past. Ahab. That, the, they knew. They're prepared to die, I think. Yeah, what is this hospital? Hmm. Is that ca uh, cause? And yeah. Oh, and us. And, and uh, Snake. We should probably burn those. <laughs> this is you as you've lived until this day. What is going on? Oh, we're bl we... Tomorrow. It becomes a phantom. He has a gun! He has a gun! Have like some control over camera. Okay. I don't think we know. Oh! We were about to get killed. Dude, this game holds up. This cast? The lighting and everything. Sorry, I'm trying to control the camera. No, you're logic. fine. You're fine. Oh, they're covering their face. Oh. oh. What was that? Ethanol. Okay. Time to light her up or what? Oh, oh. dude. Oh, I can zoom in. Oh, God. Oh, that's really terrifying. Dude.
gas pedals. Okay, Why now? I have time to go. What? What, is what? what happened to the woman? The woman? I. We gave her a light. She took the short way down. Who are you? Who am I? You're talking to yourself. I've been watching over you for nine years. You can call me Ismail. What the hell is You taking notes, Audrey? Well, the good news is, you're in the land of the living. Bad news? Oh, well, what's your name? <laughs> to me, this is the same voice actor for both. Did you hear that at all? They have Ishmael. Ishmael's been watching for nine hey, years. They are the same boy? Nothing like a little digoxin to get you back in the game. To me, it's the same voice actor. Remember, do not confirm or deny. Come on. We're just going to theorize out loud. Do you hear it? Because I'm suspecting some kind of like split personality situation now. Oh! Right, we're in the game. We're in the game. The flowers, dude. Okay, no one say anything. Interesting. I'm excited because Audrey and I, neither of us have played this, so it's on I rails. I mean, okay, so there's like that. That could be a possibility, but my mind, of course, went to the fact that you know, Les Enfants Terribles, but your mind went to something else. So maybe, maybe I'm the sucker here because I've been primed. But really, <laughs> oh, sorry, yeah, La Bamba. If we just missed the detail that was in front of our faces. Let us know. They overlay. Wait, are Ahab and Ishmael <laughs> someone, regarding? Someone clip Audrey going up. <laughs> is that um Cypher? Moby Dick reference? It's been a long Ishmael, time. Ishmael, Ahab, and Ishmael. Let's take the stairs. I'm gonna Google that. No, no. Careful. I'm not gonna put in. It is Moby Dick. They are Moby Dick characters. Okay. Gotcha. Okay, so they got us. Wow. Um, Cyprus is the country we're in. Okay. I'm actually not familiar. Look at this. You know what else makes me think this is a multiple personality situation? What? That other character is not helping us up. They're not touching, interacting with us. Yeah. All I the butt crack. I, I did notice. I mean, at least that they didn't make any sound until this moment, or uh, yeah. they didn't say anything until this moment. Uh, no, but that assailant was like, oh, the person in the other bed. Never mind. I don't know. I see. Snake, see the poster? If I miss... A poster or some Easter egg, let it happen. Okay, yeah, yeah. Let, we're we're in this for us, so. We don't want to break the pace of the game yeah. to hunt down Easter eggs, so. <sighs> don't worry about it. God. Yeah, Audrey Google's Ahab and Ishmael and gets every spoiler for Metal Gear Solid Five. I was pretty confident I would not, like, I was confident I would not get a Metal Gear Solid Five spoilers for googling cypress so hey casey we are ready for this yeah, wild as long ride as chat is good and doesn't spoil anything L we lit we both of us literally don't know anything about this game oh. uh, i'm scared and i love it oh it's so freaking oh pyro psycho mantis pyro mantis The whole world wants us dead. Feels like it. Oh, that's not good. Where are the fire extinguishers in this hospital? Yeah, no spoilers, no backseating, no foreshadowing. I can zoom in. He straight up looks like the devil. 
Did you yeah. see he had horns? That body shape and outfit makes me think Volgan. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah I can see that. Also, you can see it's crack. You gotta love hospital gowns. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you can, can't you? I was following. Follow the crack. They show the scene in GSX back in 2014. Was wild seeing this. Interesting. Uh, they were showcasing how this looked on PS4 back when the PS4 was still new. I mean, this is quite a display already. Even the devil wants Snake Dead. Ooh, I love it. It is intense. Okay. There. The first teasers and trailers for this game were hype. Foxhound, I believe it. Oh, it that's cute. What is that? Kojima? Kojima Productions. Okay. Join the Fox team. Even on PS3, it still looks really good. I'm sure. <laughs> Hold on, I never signed a contract to be in this game. Explain, Kojima. Devil. <laughs> you don't sign contracts. The contracts sign you. Still to this day, one of the PS4's most ga gorgeous looking games ever. I believe it. Classic sound. Yeah. Oh, we gotta, we gotta crunch it. Pop it back pop, in. Pop it, pop it in. This classic low health sound. Next time. Do Ground it zeroes and Next this. Next time, do it yourself. Very visceral. This is the same voice actor. Ground Over zeroes in this. Yeah, I'm not familiar with this actor very well. Would Kojima Production want to hire people from the studio from LA? That's why he put the sign up? Is that what you're saying? Kojima Productions always gets the most out of hardware for sure. Definitely. Okay, it's so I'm cinematic! Before it was all on rails, as I was calling oh, it. Oh, was it? Okay. Yeah, the level sound. Keep your head down. Um, so I wonder, at least in Ground Zeroes for health, it was that, like, vignette. Classic modern video game. Yeah, the modern video game thing. They, they did away with the health bar. Yeah. It's probably going to be the same here, It was, like, right? film burning imagery. Oh, right, 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 right. Film burning. Yeah, next time, open the survival viewer and select cure. <laughs> We're not eating tree frogs today. Dude, I think you're totally on the money. I think you're totally on the money. What did the doctor say earlier? Physical and mental... Uh, incapacities or... Impairment, impairment? is unavoidable. Dude, you're like that, right? you are on the money! Do not confirm or deny this chat. But I think Anthony is r is onto something here. Some sort of dissociation or yeah. something because of I mean Okay, should we recognize this person? No, right? Uh, did I just miss looking at that ID or whatever? Oh, it's fine. He still has that horn stuck in his head. Oh, yeah. 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 A lot of chunks. They set it up. They set it up, so. That guy is going to get fired. Let's move. Dude. Uh, help me. I don't want to die. Bro! Do you have to make so much sound? 
This game's giving me control like two seconds at a time. That's okay. Yeah, a grizzly intro. Oh, here. Oh, it's. Here. Oh, God. Targeting a hospital is scummy. The devil's mad snake thinks it's cooler than him oh. with the horn. That's definitely it. I pressed the button. What is this? It said press the touchpad for cover. Oh, we're we Ooh! That's all right. Me. It did the sound. Did you hear it? Yeah. Bing. <laughs> Oops, that's all right. The tip is in the bottom of that pause screen. Oh, that's what it meant. It meant go into the pause screen to read the stuff. Oh, gotcha. okay. It didn't mean press. For cover. Press to read about cover. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you. You did the prompt right. Okay, Thank so it you. auto. Okay. Don't get caught in those searchlights. Dude, Ishmael said I've been watching over you for nine years. Uh. Oh God. Oh God. Run. Zigzag, zigzag. Oh. Okay, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna pay attention to these interactions here. Did Ishmael straight up say I'm you or something like that? No. What? Oh, uh, never Me? mind. Can I make that up? Move. Go. Which way? Oh, okay. Not up. Yeah, definitely gonna go with Ishmael. Oh. They're dead. Oh. Is this a prison? Why are there so many like gates and locked? Oh, good point. Gates yeah. and things. Oh shit! It's ugly down there. Turn back. This way. I'm a Grigola. Come on. <laughs> okay. Okay, he's pushing people around. What's happening out there? It's all right. We'll be okay. I can't see what's happening. You can't say that, for sure. <laughs> They're just trying to comfort them, of course. What's going on? It's okay. What? That was mean. Am I doing this? Okay, so it's like when when Ishmael went through, it was a quiet. It was, it was more quiet. With Ahab going through, it's it's. Uh, Why am I zooming into this? Because <laughs> that's that's Ishmael. 
Oh! Oh God! Was that Ishmael? So. Oh, oh my God, no. dude! Oh, it wasn't him. It was a red herring crack. Hey Ash, so here for this. We're hey so Ash. happy to have you so here for this because this is intense. Everyone else has pants. Pants sus. Talk about stealth. Even in this intro, Kojima still gets his crude humor in. Of course. I mean, if, if someone gets caught with their pants down and diarrhea, then we'll know for sure. Kojima was involved. <laughs> How does the Ishmael cake compare to the Holy snake cake? Holy crap, okay. The hospital gowns are, are don't, uh, don't okay. contour. Check this one and kill this one already, so I'm in here now. I mean... Do you see our buddy over there, at least? They are clearing up, clearing out this hospital. Yeah. I'm assuming they're looking for... Oh, no, that's, no, no. Yeah. Is, that's not... Maybe that's not true. Like this whole beginning part is how many different ways can we show someone brutally get shot? And oh, they're showing us. And it's intense. Do you think the following the ass was a reference to Metal Gear Solid 1 and Meryl? I did not. <laughs> Maybe it was. I don't, I, I, I didn't. Maybe. Yeah. The, uh, <laughs> it's a he does have a certain kind of walk though doesn't he <laughs> I mean this is a far dark this is far Anything? darker than negative he came in here keep looking yeah Um, yeah, this is far darker than any of, any of the previous tone of Kojima's what? games uh, of the last decade when he did Metal Gear Solid. This already sets a much darker tone for sure, Casey. Get down on your stomach and crawl. Around this time, Kojima was set to be involved in a Silent Hill reboot after this game finished. Obviously, that did not come to pass with his exit from Konami. Oh, I did not know that. Wow. Blend in with the bodies. Are you blending right now? Is there something else I need to press? I don't know. You're kind of holding yourself up, no? I, yeah. Oh! They're shooting, they're... Confirm the kill. Oh god, well... You're moving <laughs> up and down quite a bit with your breathing. Um. Oh, okay. So is that a mechanic? Like, like, lay I mean, I thought it was like lay down even flatter, but there was I no see. option for that. Oh, boy. You did it for all the other bodies. Why wouldn't you do it for... They thought they got him. These look like... Oh, he's peeing. We got it. We did it. We got it. 
We did it. We did it. It's a real Metal Gear game now. Is everyone peeing? European. Oh. Oh. They got us. They got us. Oh, his eye. Oh, no. Oh. That sound. Sounds really familiar. Okay, so is this third party? Definitely a third party. These are going to be our... Um, Eccentric yeah. group. This is our... Um, God, what is, what is the name of that group? Uh, there's dead cells. There's foxhound. There's um, what was it called in three? That's what, the one I was trying to think of. Grenade! Don't tell me. I remember this. Come on. Oh. Cobra unit. Cobra unit. Nice. Okay. It's absorbing the fire, the energy. The doll-like one, right? That kind of disappeared, and then there's this demon-looking one. Yes. But they both seem to have a thing with fire. Is that what it? Mm, yeah, that's what it seems like. Damn it! It's coming! These are early versions of Dead Cell. Dude, this is like max shaky cam for Audrey. Um, I'm doing okay. Okay, good. I was constantly worried for you. Dude, this is this is definitely vulgar, right? <laughs> oh, cause, oh, cause of even the all it, the bullets, the, yeah. Yeah, the ammunition. Vulgar. Either that, or it's just made to trick us. Because these games just constantly trick us. Oh god, I didn't even... All the like shells in his face? Mm. Right, because remember they were like all going off like bah, 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 bah. Oh gone. So if these are these are like I don't know characters from the past. Okay. Action, serious injuries. <sighs> Dude. If you sustain a serious injury, you will be unable to perform certain actions such as climbing over obstacles or getting on your horse. Horse spoilers. If you sustain a serious <laughs> injury to your torso, you will be you will not be able to recover fully without first aid. If you sustain a serious injury to your arm, you won't be able to ready a weapon. In case you have a leg, not be able to sprint. Quickly sprint get behind spoilers. cover, action, but okay. Um, hey, Naru, how are you doing? Hello, hello, hello. You better stop and treat that injury. <laughs> Ishmael is not Otacon confirmed. Not a Emmerich. An Emmerich confirmed. Oh, Dead Cell Fox Hunt and Cobra Unit, colors. thank you. The Cobras and the Beast, Beauty and Beasts, in uh, Metal Gear Solid 4. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Either they're doing something with colors, or our PS5 is dead. <laughs> oh, what do you mean? It's, uh, I don't know how to describe it. Do you see the colors? It looks, like, less saturated over yeah, there, kind yeah. of. Like, that looks like, um... That's cool, though. Yeah. That looks like some, uh, Silent Hill. <laughs> And a little gray, yeah. I think it's just the game.
This is straight up horror game vibes. Maybe it's the setting. Killed. Say again? That guy just got killed. Was it by our buddy? Oh. I'm gonna say yes. He's just aligning. Give me a weapon, give me a weapon. Is that a silencer on it? Is that what yeah. that thing is? Ooh! Suppressor. Suppressor. Hold down the aim button to aim. Then press the attack button to fire. Destroy it. I'll take the right. You take the left. Cover. Okay, we read that. You're pretty good, I'll do you. Oh. Maybe this is, um, Ishmael will be with us. Uh, do I want this? He's like our tutorial. Oh, they're, they're like kind of, it almost feels like if your theory is correct, they're con contextualizing, I like this more. teaching you the game. Yeah. When, okay, when yeah. it's a character who, you know, in theory would know. Yeah. Oh man, I really want you to be right. Yeah, <laughs> that would be cool. I think you're right. I think you're right. I mean, he did emphasize the, the injury to our brain. Yes. What's up, Jaime? Hey, Jaime. I love this one. I I'm I'm in it. I, this is both of our first playthrough of it. So um So no spoilers. Yeah, no spoilers, but I think we're both already pretty invested. Yeah, that's what they said, Ash. So we're we're basing our theories off of some of that stuff they said. I'll run interference. Oh my gosh. What? He's gonna be a distraction by taking off the suppress the suppressor. Or also that. That's hardcore. Uh Okay, let me kill that one. Oh! Oh! Where? Where? Yeah, they left the shrapnel because it was would have caused a hemorrhage. A hemorrhage. Right, right, right. That's what the doctor said. Um, but because they left the shrapnel, it's causing some issues. Which they they said, and so yeah. Do not confirm know. or deny. Yeah, don't dare. Okay. Yeah, we we were just we're just talking out loud, you know. But thank you for you know reminding us about what has happened. It's my only Metal Gear Solid, but it's pretty sick. Uh, as a newcomer, nice. I mean, if as a newcomer, if you're able to jump in and like be invested, all the better. The game will eventually explain it all, La Bamba. We are counting on it. Imagine they never explain it. That was some fancy shooting, Anthony. You're pretty good. Thank you. Alpha says. Appreciate it. Looks like your Ground Zero's uh, practice has paid off. A little bit. I'm trying. A while ago when I was like thinking of really making an effort to finally play this game. I was thinking of um, playing it on PC so I could uh, keyboard and mouse mm, right. for more precise shooting. Yeah. But we did just play all the other games. Yeah. So I'm like used to the control controller right now. Nice. Any of you guys play keyboard and mouse on PC? Just curious. I'm not saying it's better or anything. It's just I, I'm really used to keyboard and mouse sure. for uh, shooters. That all these sounds are familiar. Yeah, and all this weird phenomena. Gotcha. Thank you guys for that feedback. Never tried keyboard mouse. Uh, uh, oh. Uh. Dude, that's a K-pop haircut. I want that.
Audrey, is that a K-pop haircut? Got Maybe. it. Maybe. Yeah. What is going on? It's always that character shows up first, and then this one, mm. right? That's like. Seems like it. one has. Like this guy hasn't showed up with the without the other one first showing up. This is a very bold game. It's not. Hard. If this is Volgan, the other one must be a reference to something too, right? Yeah. I mean, the gas mask like that, and someone floating with a um. That's what is that vest called? A straight jacket? Oh uh, yeah. Did Mantis have a straight jacket? I don't know. I don't think he did, but the the aesthetic. This Psycho Mantis um is after all of this, right? Yeah. So that's why I was like, maybe it's like a. But. This is 21 years. Oh, brutal, dude. This yeah. is 21 years before Metal yeah. Gear Solid 1. That sounds like maybe it's like a prototype. You but mean Mantis? Yeah. Prototype Mantis? Or just a young Mantis? Prototype right? Mantis. Ooh, or a young Mantis? <gasps> oh my god. You think it's a young what? Mantis? Are we fighting? Oh, we're fighting. Are we fighting or am I trying to get out? Uh, Snake played PC with DualShock 4. Nice. Um, yeah, Ash played first uh, First person on PC felt good. Did he just see me? Uh, Rafa, love. Always love playing on controller. Nice. Yeah, K-pop here. I just dove. They just taught me how to dive. Okay. Oh my god. Love seeing his reflection in the visor, La Bamba says. I think I missed that, but... Oh, and the soldier's visor as he's walking down the stairs. Wow. Okay, what is it? What is on the back here? Finger off the trigger. Oh, the guns are firing anyways. What? Is he controlling? Or maybe Their they, guns? they started... No, they started shooting. Oh, they started shooting. Okay, yeah. Oh, oh, dude! Put the kids to bed, okay? Should have put the kids to bed. This a while feels ago. like a slasher movie. It does. It feels like a horror movie right now. They're literally trying to show. They're showing creative ways of, of killing throughout this whole part. Yeah. Like when that guy gets shot and he's like hanging on that curtain for a little bit. I was like. So he's just releasing the energy that he's uh, absorbing? Yeah. Get out of here. Oh my god. Try to remember the basics of CQC against this thing made of fire. What? No? Where am I supposed to go? Well, let's wait until we get our fireproof camo, then we'll try it. This intersection is probably the coolest since Metal Gear Solid 2. Come on, dude. How I might have to agree with you, Ash. You're just going to absorb. Oh. I'm afraid it's been another <laughs> nine years. <laughs> We're fine. Hey, Johnny. Hate it when my helicopter propellers just start going <laughs> on their own. Yeah. <laughs> What's up, Johnny? Got to take the keys out of the ignition. More nine years, coma. Now we're back. Are you gonna make me? 
Oh. Yes. Oh my oh. god, Something over an ambulance? That guy's gonna be called like Mr. Nuke or something. Get in! Okay, so now I don't so now I don't know if our uh, split personality theory checks out. Yeah, I don't know. But it's still interesting to theorize. I mean all of these could be visions, and we're actually the ones doing all this damage. Oh my god. You, oh, you think this is going to all be a dream, maybe? I don't know. Oh my god. They're just trying to help. They're just trying to help? So are the doctors and nurses. Yeah. yeah. Eyes on the road, bro. Oh, I'm not good. Oh Ooh, my god! Oh my god, dude! Dude! The scale of this is huge. Yeah. Like, I don't think we've gotten an enemy that's chucked. Is he hit? Yeah, he's out. We haven't got an enemy that's chucked like trucks and things that from like, I don't know, miles out. Or a mile out. Oh, no. Split's stuck on the accelerator. Oh. Oh, okay. Good thing we put our seatbelts on. Okay. Yeah. That's very good. It's very good that we did that. Buck wild. Another yeah. nine years. Ambulance and VP. <laughs> Not so much in this moment. Cyprus. March 11th, 1984. What did I say? What? <laughs> well, we don't know exactly yet, right? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Okay. Partially kidding. I'm kidding unless I'm right. Well, no, I mean, I, 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 I felt so strongly that you were right. We're seeing evidence on both sides. Epo's here. I mean, I, I, I think you're right, and they were contextualizing the tutorial by showing you a version yeah. of yourself. I I love that. Yeah, me like too. um the materializing. Who's that X Men character? Um, Nightcrawler. Nightcrawler, that yeah. kind of that poof of smoke yeah. sort of thing. This is Baby Mantis. This has got to be Baby Mantis. Oh, it's like a whale. Is your Moby Dick. Wait, is it? Oh, oh, it is. They got us. But I don't remember Psycho Mantis having like, oh, Phoenix. What is going on? Oh, oh my God. This is so sick. Horse spoilers. Yeah, a unicorn. Oh. Get on. I'm on your side. Hurry! Hurry! Here's our horse! Hang on! Giddy up! Oh! <laughs> what an opening, dude! This is crazy! Johnny, yes! no. Switching camera position. Okay, click the... Should I have any idea what's happening right now, Johnny? No! Sure. I don't know what's happening! Shotgun! This like fantastical like chase right now. I am Met this Metal Gear. This is Metal Gear. A whale, a unicorn. That's what I'm saying. 
Yeah, yeah, Jaime. Kojima popping off because he hand. Kojima, pop off! Kojima, more unicorns! I mean, I love it, Bo. WTF, Johnny, I'm with you. Yeah, up, up, this, the whole beginning part was like very brutal shoot, like point blank shooting of just all these hospital patients and hospital staff. Back from the dead, huh? Oh. It is Vulcan, then? What if it's just Psycho Mantis, like, controlling puppets? Like, dead, dead people puppets kind of thing. Don't answer that. Okay. Kojima and Metal Gear Solid 4 doesn't endorse smoking. Kojima and Metal Gear Solid 5 endorse his seatbelts. Kojima. Thinking about the children. You get him. Teaching valuable lessons. We shook him off. Is that Troy Baker? Oh, Sounds like maybe. The lightning. The lightning. That's Volgan. Oh, I see it now. Vulcan, then yeah, we were missing the lightning part, and now there it is. I mean, he's got a few new tricks. What was his name? Thunderbolt, right? Oh, he was I known as Thunderbolt. Down. Hold on, hold on. It was a long time ago. Thunderbolt, yeah. Yeah, okay. You the still have those GRU. notes. GRU. The Gru. The Bresh Bresnev faction. I have my notes. From th like three games ago. <laughs> yeah. Codename Chick, dude. We got it. Yeah. Oh, we're going for a chick run. What? We are? I don't know. Okay. I, I was know like, what, what is a chick run? Nice. Okay. Well done. Nice. Nice. <laughs> Slow-mo through a fire while riding a horse, Obama. Every, everyone, every person's dream. Yeah. Actually, a prince on a white horse? a Disney movie. You doing okay, Audrey? Yeah, I'm doing great. Yeah. Thank you. This cutscene is so good, Ash. It's so good. Is that windowed working out for you? I think so. There's sometimes where I, I could feel maybe some motion sickness coming on. Oh, boy. What if this character is called Baby Mantis? Would you be happy? Is there a word for a baby mantis? Like a maggot is a fly? <laughs> okay. I don't know. Oh, wait, there's someone else on it. Wait, wait, was the mantis on there? Did you see? I, I did. I, I thought it was just Vulcan. Someone riding in front of Vulcan. There it looked, was. It looked maybe, like mantis. Maybe mantis teleported, uh, teleported back. Okay. It's bad that when I see unicorns, I just think of that. Always, I want to be with you. I don't know that. <laughs> and make believe with you. You don't know that? Maybe I know that. It's like that Flash game, or I don't know, some game with a unicorn. What browser game? The name's Ocelot. What? <laughs> you know who I am. A certain no, man gave me a job to do. Two, actually. The first was to get you out of that hospital. The Show me the boots. To rescue the man himself. Okay, to get you out of the hospital and to you rescue remember? the man himself. Your partner nine years ago, Kazuhira Miller. Nine years back, your private army came under attack by Cypher. You were considered dead. Until today, that is, when Cypher found you. And it's not just them. The whole world wants you dead. You'll have to join up with Miller. Build that private army of yours one more time. It's your only chance. Oh, the glove!
We were not buddy buddy like this. First, we need to save Though, him. right? He's in Afghanistan. Afghanistan. <laughs> what? You can't keep up with world affairs in a coma? <laughs> Four years ago, the Soviets invaded Afghanistan. The Muslims are fighting back with Western support. Miller was training Mujahideen rebels when he was captured by the Soviets. The Reds 40th Army. Troop strength somewhere around 100,000. The squad holding Miller set off near the Pakistan border yesterday. Now in three days, they'll reach the Soviet garrison. They'll be interrogated for a few more days, and it's off to a logger. Or left to rot in a ditch on Afghan soil. I give him two weeks. The job didn't mean anything to Miller. He only took it on to keep you safe. Mm. Well, there's our ride. It's a whaling ship. Had a pretty good deal on her once the IWC started raising a stink. Now seven days to port. Made the a whale sea, sound too. Three over land. So we won't have much time once we're there. Don't take too long getting used to your new self. Hang on. That's Ocelot? I saw the boots. Oh I mean, my. they zoomed into the revolver before he introduced himself. Oh my god. Yeah, they did. The holstered. Revolver. Ocelot and Zeke had a begrudging respect at the end of three on the plane. Yeah, when he yeah, did that fake yeah. rush. It was yeah, a great scene. That was a great scene. Make I, sure you watch the VOD for that. Audrey really liked it. Begrudging. <laughs> thank you. Uh, begrudging respect is a good way to put it. But for him to come out like this and just straight up say, I'm on your side. Revenge. For him to just say, I'm on your side is, is a little bit of a, like, like, shock. But a lot of things seem to have happened. music <gasps> what is that what is that what? we're getting a shot okay never mind get used to it load a revolver with it Did we always know that the boss or a big boss had a had an arm like a? I don't think we knew that. Okay. At least you and I didn't know. Is that an electronic cigar? I was just joking about it being a vape. like our opening sequence. Dude. I know what you were thinking, Audrey. I, I, I was just like, it's Ocelot. Ava's coming. She's coming. I know. I know she's almost here. So we got some cassette tapes. Okay, I'll talk about that in a moment again. Okay. Just to remind everyone how we're going to handle that. Dude. Essentially, we know that we can... I know that if, unless we embrace at least some of the cassette tapes, we're going to be missing out. I don't know if we're going to be necessarily listening to 100% of them, but the ability to listen to them during gameplay may help with that. Cool. Sounds good. But also, after a long sequence like that, perhaps slow it down by listening to some tapes is, is good, too. Yeah. So we'll great. see. Yeah. I know, uh, Johnny says, I never expected Volgan to come back in any form in this series. Very surprising. Yeah, Johnny. Well, it's not confirmed, but... Anthony pointed it out, and it seems to be Volgan, so... Or represent him, at, at least. At least, yeah, yeah in, so, in a, some kind of form. Yeah. Certain ones will be highlighted. Okay, yeah. Okay. You yeah, have that's to. my understanding, okay. too. But okay. would you guys say we would be missing out if we only listened to those? I feel like we would, right? Mm. I mean, well, at least hit the... 
the important ones, and then at least we'll fill in with the remaining. Dude's like a magician. Yeah, it's seriously. Different. Yeah. All right, it's ten days later, like you said. It's situational. Gotcha, La Bamba. Okay. Well, we each got a horsey now. Under total Soviet control. Miller's been captive for 10 days. Not much time left. The weather will clear shortly. Storm's passing. This is tech. That's the thing we had in Ground Zeroes, too. Oh, right. The iDroid. Punished Venom Snake. What? Punished? So I can use the arm. Shalashaska. Do you remember that nickname he I had? I do. From MGS2. Getting used to it? Soviet Guards Airborne Regiment. Skulls. Parasite unit. Okay. Skulls. Parasite unit. Maybe that might be the Cobra unit you're looking for. Yeah. Graphical upgrade. The Skull's parasite unit, you said? Yeah. So that's probably the people who work under Skull Face? Yeah. After nine years on ice. On ice? Infiltration of the Soviet main ground forces. Eyewear? <laughs> They're advertising the, uh, the fashion. Tell me they made that a real product. Or a real product was brought into the game. Okay. Not unusual for Kojima. Yeah. Gallery mate. True. Kazuhira Miller is being held in Darwin Dehar to the north. Check its location now. Take out your iDroid. You see Wandy on the map? That's where they're keeping Miller. Only problem is we don't know his exact location. Finding it is your first priority. It was a real product. Nice. Go ahead and close the eye drawer. Got your binoculars? Or should I say your int scope? See the village? Straight ahead? To the right. All right. That's the village. If you see something through the binoculars and you need more information, just give me a call. I'll tell you anything I can about it. That's Vialo Village. The Vialo Calais. The villagers fled the war and evacuated a while back. Since then, it's become a base for the Soviet's 40th Army. A few days ago, Miller was taken through there, en route towards Dewan Dehar. You may be able to pick up the trail there. It's worth a shot. Put a marker on it so you don't lose track of where it is. Oh. Marker Good. Placed. Now you won't have to worry about getting lost along nice. the way. Convenient. You can't have much left in him. I give him three days, tops. If we fail, and he dies, we lose our chance of revenge. But we need more intel. If you just go charging into Doan Dehar, you'll be putting both your lives at risk. See what you can find out first. The Soviets have other outposts, not just the one you saw. Afghanistan is a big place. I expect you'll become quite familiar with those binoculars. An open world, if you will. <laughs> yeah. How and where you make it. Well, that's up to you. From here on out, you're on your own. You're a legend in the eyes of those who live on the battlefield. That's why you have to handle this mission yourself. Put those nine years behind you and return as big boss. That's how Koss would want it. I'll be sending additional intel by radio. Stay sharp. Not one of Miller's bodyguards survived. And they were good. All we found on the scene were their corpses and knees. Aww. And you're his only hope of getting them back. <laughs> oh my god, that... 
Okay, the ad stuff is a little funny. Yeah. <laughs> we haven't heard Punch Snake talk yet since, or at all, I guess, yeah. technically, right? Now go. Let the legend come back to life. Okay. Dude. Rescue. Because you hit a Miller. Okay, speed up horse. You controls. So we don't know. I keep my mind keeps going back to the fact that there was someone on in outer heaven that ratted us out to yeah another cipher agent another cipher agent other than um pacifica or yeah pause no spoilers no spoilers yeah. please do not spoil i imagine that's going to be part of this plot why do i feel scared <laughs> that it's <laughs> that it's cause we'll i don't see. know anyone else who was on the on there right huey mm. he's the one who like freely let those inspectors in, right? Huey like the did? nuclear inspectors, yeah. Remember? That is true. That, that was, was kind of dumb. Or like, you know, I felt like, oh, why why would you do that? I guess Huey. Cypher, though? Okay, uh... Yeah, that quote is so cool. Let the legend come back to life. Very uh. cool. Welcome to Open World Metal Gear Solid. Here we go. Set tapes. Okay, the yellow ones, I think, are the important ones. Okay, yeah. You were hospitalized in Dekelia, a British sovereign base area on Cyprus. Yeah. It's part of British overseas territory that falls outside of Cypriot jurisdiction. You got moved from Cuba's little America right into Cyprus's little Britain. Why Dekelia? The UK and the US remain close allies. The last place Cypher would think to look for you is inside their own system. That's what kept you safe in British military yeah. hospital for nine years. Yeah. There it is. Safest place from a whale is inside its own. I'm not 100% paying attention, so you, you feel free to repeat anything to me. Well, it wasn't Pinocchio who had me up to safety. Oh, wow. More oh, whale imagery. Cypher went so far as to attack References. British territory, mm -hmm. burning their own ally. That's how badly they were. They're addressing dead. what we suspected with the British flag in the hospital. Like, oh, was that a red herring? Or hmm. It was a British military the hospital. The doctor had a Greek accent. Because we're they in Cyprus. Locally easier to trust them. The Kelly is also home to Greek Cypriots, after all. What about the Turks? They haven't returned to the south. Not yet. The oh, we are talking. We are talking back and forth. Yeah. Resolved. The country is just as split as it was in 74. Turkish Cypriots. That's marking. Cypriots. Focus on the thread and it'll be marked automatically. You can mark enemies and vehicles by zooming in with Pause binoculars it. or camera. Once they're marked, you'll also see their positions on the Oh, it's it's auto playing. It's auto playing all of them. Okay. Yeah, it seems like it. Spot any outsiders snooping around. So how do things stay? First reaction? I hate this. The uh, the playlist kind of thing. I I don't want to have to pay attention to both. Uh, both. What do you mean? The tapes and then the tapes keep getting interrupted, but they're not auto pausing. Oh, you want to just <sighs> sit for a bit and just like play yeah. them one by one then? Or but like, like we're not paused. <laughs> the game doesn't pause. It's progressing. Time passes. Oh, I see. The same villages. There are reasons to fight. You were hospitalized in Dekelia, a British sovereign base area on okay. Cyprus. It's part of British. Too many people talking about yeah. Yeah. That seems like a place hard. Yeah. You he said I, I was see. British military. Okay. Okay. God damn, this is stressful. <laughs> it's okay. Let's skip to the what happened in the Caribbean nine years ago. Uh, I wish we had the opportunities. The opportunity to listen to these before. Oh, yeah. Before we got on this horse. <laughs> Not needed right now. Okay, so I think I'm going to be asking chat. Because I want to... I don't want... Okay, great. I want to appreciate them. Mm. Right? Thank I you, can't. chat. We appreciate that. Hold it. There's a Soviet guard post. They're bound to be guards. Take a look with your binoculars. Put the enemy in the center of your field of view. Uh huh. Did it. Uh huh. This is pretty sweet. In uh, the marking? Ground Zeroes. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. But then you gotta be real thorough. Otherwise, like, you mark like three and you're like, I got them all. But then there's like a fourth that you don't see. Yep. You just assume you're safe. 
And you're gonna be thorough, you know that. I'll try. I still have the horse right now. Oh, what? Um. Oh. <laughs> okay. You can hide on a horse. Cool, hide. cool. Woodless clear out tapes during side ops, not during story missions. Okay, it sounds like it sounds like it doesn't have to be right now. Uh, and um Okay. Yeah, Jaime. It's still kinda like tutorial mode, so also that's gonna be telling you a lot. Gotcha. Thank telling you. Telling you about everything, gotcha. I appreciate it. Like, should I? Hi, H Day. This game is good. Oh I'm feeling it. Feeling it. We're excited. Is this an enemy? What? Is this an enemy? Oh. Sight, sound, keep all your enemy senses in oh. mind. When you're near you can... enemy, stay low and move slowly. Uh, do they not see you? <laughs> I guess not, dude. Look at this horse. You, you could, like, lean off the side of the horse. I was... Oh! Which time? Did I get him? Nope. I heard another voice too. Uh oh. Okay. Hey Raptor. Wait, you're playing Red Dead Redemption 2? Not quite. What the hell? Get off the horse. How <laughs> do I get off the horse? Um, a, a triangle. Triangle, thank you. Yeah. Uh, thank horsey. you, Raptor. Horsey's down. No! Oh, oh, oh god. Um, thanks HJ. Uh, you know, we're actually we're we're um not looking for tips or backseating just yet. Uh if we yeah. need help, we will certainly ask. But, you know, just uh I'm aware of the suppressor. That's yeah. why I went to that body looking for another weapon. Mhm. Mm mm -hmm. Yeah, so Anthony's uh Pretty aware. Oh, didn't see another way. Yeah, but we appreciate your enthusiasm. Find some place to drop them out of sight. That's a rough diamond. Good find. It'll fetch a high price. We appreciate you looking out for but us. But it though, swaps. Can I not hold two? Oh. So I guess when the firefight starts, I just take off the suppressor. Oh yeah, because what's the point? Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. Just the <laughs> oh. Horse he got hurt. That I felt know. bad. I know. That did feel bad. Especially because horse injuries are not good. Oh! What's that? Is it like, you made it back to the horse? Yeah. I, like, stay off the road the now? scale is huge Obvi yeah. I mean we're in open world now but I mean extraction arrived at you're almost at the enemy outpost via low village the village is crawling with enemy soldiers yeah. don't just go waltzing in I'm gonna go waltzing Start in. with some recon is there anywhere that overlooks the village what about this overlook <laughs> This ocelot is interesting. This is Troy Baker, right? Yeah, it's definitely Troy Baker. It doesn't feel like the ocelot I remember, but I don't know. Maybe things have changed. See any buildings with tighter security? If there are clues to Miller's whereabouts, yeah, Rafa. How about this conveniently placed hill? Exactly. It is Troy Baker, La Bamba. Yeah. Okay. No doubt. If you see any soldiers that I miss, let me know. I will let you know, but you're good at spotting them. Um, the details are crazy. Oh, the details are crazy on this. So he said, look for any building that's like more heavily guarded or blah, blah, blah. Like an indicator. A parabolic antenna. There could be intel files of some kind in there. Okay. Nice. Oh, that's what the blinking was we saw earlier. 
when we were scoping it out from farther away. Uh, yeah, this is still young ocelot for sure. It is still young ocelot, but it's older than the ocelot in three. You know what I'm saying? And that one in three was like. Three was 1974. No, 1964, dude. So we're 20 years. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, yeah so it's been like, 20 years. But he's I like remember, 40 now. remember he's like, like 40 that years ocelot. Older. Yeah, the ocelot in three was like super cocky. Like, yeah. hey, look at me. Like. Well, he was also trying to figure out his identity, you know, sort of thing. He's like, he's like middle-aged. Yeah, I'm not going in with that horse. Uh, do you remember when the boss said she gave birth? I don't. But it was, uh, if it wasn't, it was Metal Gear Solid 3, she probably said. Uh, World War Two. World War Two. On the field, right? Yeah. So probably 1944, which means 1964. 20-year-old baby. He hasn't cut his hair since three. He's growing it out. He's he's almost to the length of hair in uh, one. He's already in his midlife crisis phase. Your vehicle. He's gonna come Just in with the, the Porsche. Guy in the oh. Time yeah. of day. On the beaches of Normandy on D Day, nineteen forty-four. Okay, that yeah. So then. By Metal Gear Solid 3, he's 20 years old, and now by this game, he's uh, 40. Yeah, it's 1984, so. <gasps> oh! I was trying to hold him up, but that's fine, too. Be fair, Big Boss also has grown out his hair a bit. Definitely. Like the ponytail. Yeah. Was long hair popular in the 80s? Oh yeah. Then we are on. We are period period accurate. Okay. It goes without saying that darkness is good for infiltration, but your vision will be affected just the Everybody same. Everybody sees us. Keep your guard up. <laughs> oh yeah, we're we're yeah, remembering the basics us. of infiltration of infiltrating mission and CQC. We're remembering. We are about to hit hair metal in 1984. Let's go. If we're not already there. Nice. Z's right away. Okay, so they just drop stuff. I, I think I don't need to like... Tap them? Yeah. There's no uh, full ton. Not yet. Once we start uh, trying One to... Get our army back together. No spoilers. I just want to kill everybody. You want to kill everybody? Just so I can freely walk around. Or you want to incapacitate them? Permanently. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Squares, the white squares on the the markers. There's like a a mortar thing. Uh oh. I, I, I see. marked weapons. I gotcha, gotcha. Okay. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, I don't have my weapon out. That's why. Boom. Get out of here. Yeah, dude. I didn't have my weapon out. Here we go. Oh no. Where's my weapon? Oh my god. What a mess. 
We're okay. Okay, here's my opportunity to kill everyone. Okay. Yeah, per permanently uh, incapacitating. Mark him. <laughs> HJ, the best way to stealth is to kill everyone. That is, that is our philosophy. <laughs> that is pretty accurate for our Metal Gear Solid playthrough. <laughs> yeah, BK, the legend is coming back to life, which means all the non-legends of the battlefield are gonna die. That, this is right. This is true. Or our name is Big Boss. CQC, Ash. Nothing says CQC like throwing a body at your at his uh, comrade. All clear. Yeah. Did you did you kill everybody? Killed everyone shooting at me. Fuel with resources. Those materials are already processed. They should come in handy sooner or later. Why not start gathering them? Yeah, if it works, Ash. If hey, it ain't guys. broke. You have arrived at your destination. This is the one with the parabolic. Yeah. Ally? What is that? So you picked intel up an intel file. file. Extraction now we know where Miller is. Database. I'm marking it on your iDroid. Nice. The map has been updated. Hey, Azer, if no one is alive to see you, it's perfect style. Yeah. This is true. Marker removed. Okay, we don't need the marker anymore because now we know he's there. All right, let's get the horsey and get out of here. If a... If a... If a... If a spy infiltrated a base and no one was around to see it, I did, hold up did it really happen? Guy. Please. I practiced. Let's I played Ground Zeroes. Yeah, try it on this guy. I'm about to. <laughs> Dude! Am I pulling my gun out too early? Or late too late? Or am I just I being too loud? Them up. You, 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 you want to ask chat? No, I think I know. I, okay. I mean, I did it a bunch in Ground Zero. Okay. Okay. But well, I think I'm being too loud. You're holding him up for a second, if that helps. Oh, God! I don't know how open world this is, right? Oh, because they're going to wake up later? Maybe, yeah. possibly? Yeah, they might wake up and be like, oh. Okay. Radio. Extraction arrived at Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, folks in chat, yeah, I think um, they have confirmed you're walking too fast. Um, La Bamba, yeah, thank you. Like the soldiers oh. in the hospital confirmed, okay, yeah. Okay, I think that hint is enough, La Bamba. I understand. Okay, thanks. Thank you, everybody. Okay. I think La Bamba is referring to the sneaking suit. Okay. Oh, so you had that in Ground Zeroes. Yeah. Which is probably what helped you. Got you. Um, yeah, like Follow the soldiers the in the hospital confirming the kill. Exactly, Rafa. Okay, Except so we know there. they're knocked out, <laughs> but we're choosing to uh, permanently incapacitate them. Yeah. We're booking it, Fry Sauce. We gotta find. Uh, we gotta find cause. We're just going. Whoa. Whoa. What? Learning the controls. Oh, okay. There's something in this building? You think? Stop! <laughs> How do I horse? How do you horse? I just saw a thing. The uh, an antenna. I thought maybe there's something here. Right? Could be. Oh. Oh. Okay. 
Biological, Biological material. material. I don't know if I want that, but okay. Yeah, who, who's the punished one now, Russians? Oh, God. This game is pretty open world. Yep, within the set mission parameter. I'm already feeling that. The fact that we have a horse? Yeah. There's mean. another guard post up here. Right, right there. Alert level, moderate. Yeah, learning to drive and hitting the gas instead of the brakes. We're learning. Yeah, pretty much. We're learning. That's Probably well, the one thing I dislike about this game, driving for sure. We'll figure it out. We're missing a lot of context here, and I really wish we could listen to the cassette tapes earlier. Oh. Because we're, like, what? extracting stuff to Mother Base. So I'm like, what Mother Base? You know what I mean? Oh, it, well. <laughs> like, do we have Mother Base already? No. I think um, Ocelot said something about needing to save Kaz. Um, in order to create another... Certainly, yeah, but I'm extracting biological materials to a mother base. Oh, is what those Okay, well, are. We'll, 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 we'll listen to the... Do you want to listen to them now? Nah. We'll, we'll listen to them. We'll listen to them after. Horsing is easy, Raptor. I see four. Maybe for you, Raptor. But not for Punished Snake. Oh, does my suppressor replenish over time, or did I pick one up? It's an enemy guard post. Do you, are you asking, oh, or are you, you're you're just noting? I'm noting. Okay. Just noting. Uh, I don't know why they litter the world with, the, with that stuff for this mission, La Bamba says. Okay, yeah, maybe it's like... We haven't hit that point yet in the story, maybe. Oh, uh, I thought maybe it was in the cassette tapes. No, I don't think, it doesn't seem like it, at least. Yeah, Fry Sauce, you can listen while running around if you wanted to. We- yeah, It was just really distracting. Yeah, and there was like, Ocelot was talking to us and then the cassette tape was playing and the subtitles. Oops, no suppressor on. I love the difference night makes too, Jaime. It's pretty sweet. We're okay. Oh, he's shooting! Did he see you or is he just going? He's just shooting in That's the That's kind of interesting. Uh... Okay. All clear. Dude! Let's go! Okay, so I should just unequip the suppressor. Let's see if it heals up. The little meter on the bottom. Yeah. A, a self-healing suppressor. Love it. Yeah, having a night-day cycle adds a lot to the gameplay. Confirmed. For sure. Wow, it, the horse. It's just another thing that makes the world feel so alive. Seeing the time of day change. Yeah, definitely. Nine year coma ain't nothing. Ain't nothing. We're getting those tactical t uh, takedowns. We're getting those headshots. Do I have <laughs> yeah, exactly. Fry sauce. Self healing suppressor? It must be nano machines. That's what I was thinking. <laughs> yeah. With the tech, we're almost there. When I saw, when Ocelot in that little like montage thing, when Ocelot was giving Snake uh, a shot or he was approaching him with like a syringe, I uh -oh. was like, oh, is that, is that it? Don't tell, don't tell us if, if it is. Please don't. But oh, it's I a was radio like, guy. Oh. I'm just in the light. Uh oh. Dude! Just walked right into your. Oh, dude. That's okay. a type of medicinal. We're crafting. Oh. We're back to base. It's sure to be useful sometime. 
Rafa has a good tip for these areas. We'll post in backseat for on Discord first. Appreciate Thank that you. so much, Rafa. I can take a look at it too. Take that. Okay, okay. I just need to uh, let loose. <laughs> let loose? I'm just getting too stressed out about this oh. game. Open world games make me nervous. Oh. I mean, if we miss some things, it's fine. No. This way. Extraction no. arrived at mother base. Good horsey. Do we know the horse's name? I don't think so. Nuke. Wait, what, what was the name of the kitten? Wasn't it? Nuke, Nuke? yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's why I God. said it. Here we go. Labama says, if it's something really important you missed, I'll make sure you know. Thank you, Labama. I really Labama. Ooh! Two scouts. Did you see them? Appreciate that. No, I did Two not. Two radio scouts. Oh, wrong button. Oh, I think you can see the name of the horse if you hover over the call button. Call button? Okay. What is the call button? <laughs> Price, Price asks the horse's name, Glue. Is that really oh, the God, name? That's, terrible. <laughs> that's not right. Although Glue is kind of a cute name. Wait, that's a reference to how oh. we get glue from horse's hooves. Hey, really? Right? I didn't know how we get glue. It doesn't come from the glue trees? <laughs> it's th There's a glue. Glue comes from horse hooves? Maybe I'm wrong. It's horse something. Someone let us know. Oh, I didn't know that. If it's hooves, it's okay, right? Because that's just their nails. Oh, true. How do, who who found that out, if that's the case? It's up to you whether to Some weirdo? No, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> like, I mean, I, I feel the same thing about milk. Like, how do you... Familiarize yourself Ow. with your weapons and items while you can. You need to be able to switch between them quickly to meet any threat. Dude. Tag him. Dude. I saw him with my eyeballs. Huh. I'm reading animal parts. Generally, I'm not sure. Oh, there was a guy there. Yeah, manufacturers typically obtain bones and tissues of animals from slaughterhouses, tanneries, and meatpacking plants. Oh, wow, okay. says I think I spent days snooping and nosing around. That sounds awesome. That's one of the joys of open world. Yeah. Rafa has sent to the Discord. Thank you. Nice. Can be for next week so we don't break up the pace, okay, Rafa. Okay, cool. Appreciate that a lot. Trust you to um, understand mm. whether or not it's urgent for this stream or not. Sure. So we appreciate that. Thank you. When a race doesn't do well, people say like, say stuff like, send them to the glue factory. Yeah. Oh, I never knew. I don't think I ever heard that. Thanks. Now I know. We're gonna, what I'm wondering right now as we approach this base is how frequent the auto saves are. 
Are they frequent right? enough? Right, because it's an open world. I'm just yeah. wondering, you know, where does it save? Like, if I mess up, where is it mm -hmm. going to go back to? I feel like, from my experience with the Ground Zeroes, it's pretty generous. But we'll see. Suppressor is not healing, so I suspect maybe we picked one up. Mm. Or something. That makes more sense. Yeah. Well, I mean, we, we heal over time. That doesn't... It's video game stuff. I'm just wondering how... Oh, yeah, I guess you're right. I guess health, because uh, I'm, I'm so used to health healing over time, but... Equipment, not necessarily. Uh, Lobama says, when the time is right, I'll explain auto saves if you want. Thank you. Thank you, Lobamba. We'll let you know. And Wallace, oh snap. Oh snap indeed. Metal Gear Solid 5. No promises. We kept saying no promises, no promises. We'll play Metal Gear Solid 3. We'll, no promises. We'll play 4. No promises. We'll play 5. And here we are. Playing Phantom Pain. There we go. Nice. Uh, what are you gonna? Oh, you you can you can try to get info. Yeah. How, how do I do it? Oh. Talk. Uh. Boss, you don't understand what he said. Uh, I guess that makes sense. It looks like that uh, horn stuck in your head has impacted the language center of your brain. If only we had a recruit with a Russian interpreter skill, we could get by with simultaneous interpretation. A okay. recruit? To Mother Base, I'm guessing. Is that a spoiler? We're going to get someone who speaks Russian? No, I mean, we'll remember all the soldiers we kept Fultoning. So we are going to be recruiting soldiers, is what yeah, you're thinking? That's my guess. Okay, I think you're right. Are we oh, man. That, oh man, we're gonna get Fulton in this game. Don't tell me. Just kill this dude. Uh, I'm currently playing Metal Gear Solid 5. I'm close to the end of 5 Nice Wallet. Oh, what Ooh. the hell? Um, Who? Who saw that? Oh, these dudes. Yeah, this is our first playthrough, Wallace, so. Your suppressor's dead. Oh, that's right. So you know. We just started today. And it's already a trip. Stressing me out, dude. It's so dark. We don't have night vision either. Oh, we don't have night vision. Oh! Who is Mei Ling's replacement, Raptor? No idea. You can't replace Mei Ling, excuse. Yeah, I gotta get an interpreter, that's right, Lavanda. Wow, Wallace says drop almost 100 hours. Nice. Nicely done. Um, yeah. HJ, I wish I could play this game for the first time. Well, I feel that way about certain uh, movies and games too. But you can enjoy our first playthrough and our first reactions Shoot to things. Walls. And uh, live vicariously through, through us. Nice. Definitely a long haul game if you want. Rafa oh, yeah, yeah. sunk almost 150 oh. ish hours. That's a lot of hours. It's too dangerous to make contact with the target now. Hold off until the heat has died down. Wait, was that him? Yeah. Oh, love but deterrence. It's like alert. Oh, we got love deterrence. Yeah, that's uh, Pasta's song, right? Yeah, the song she, that's the song she uh, practiced for the show. Mm.
Hey, Cyrus. Here to wish you both a sneaky stream before I head back to work. Cyrus, thanks for sneaking in. Thanks, Cyrus. And hope oh you have a wonderful day goodness. at work. We appreciate you popping in and saying hi. You're just messing around at this point. Mess around. Have fun. Yeah. <laughs> that, that's not what I meant to do, but okay. That was that was that was playful. It can be short for story progression. We shall see how we go on this journey together. We shall see, Rafa. Did I pick up another suppressor? Okay. I gotta pay attention. Where am I getting the suppressors from? I'm guessing from the music, they're still in alert. What is this? Yeah, def definitely Soldier. from the yeah. music. I'm sure Ocelot will kind of say something to you like, hey, it seems like you're in the so clear. You killed everyone. <laughs> yeah. Oh. <laughs> the audio is nice, though. Are they throwing grenades now? Trust, trust in the music. HJ says, you are good at headshots, Oh, Anthony. thank you. You are good. You're, you're trying good. to save ammo and suppressor. That, I mean, that's the way to do it, right? Get a headshot? Yeah. He's not even trying to get headshots. God. Oh, no. Why is his left arm down? His right arm? Or his right arm. God, it's me. <gasps> I'm here to get you out. They do something to your eyes? No, it's... It's just bright as all. My sunglasses, dude! Oh, he's on it. I love them. His arm's not just down, bro. It's gone? Yeah. Has he? His leg, too. No. You've secured the target. I'll send the chopper to get you out. Make your way to the RV. Right arm and left leg? Yeah. I don't think we can get on the horse. I'm just going to carry him. Should I just run or go back to the horse? So heavy anymore, right? Is, is it okay to leave behind the horse? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. Yeah, let him finish radio radioing the all clear then CQC Ash exact with oh, that horse. soldier. Magic words, boss. Um, a good tip for now though, you can hold R2 to waiting. throw throwable objects farther. Oh, Rafa. Oh, you hold it. Okay, offers. cool. Thank you. Throw cars right now? Is that what you're trying to say? Oh no! I think he meant maybe before with the grenade. I don't know. Gaz, it's me, Kiefer Sutherland. It's me, the guy from 24. Uh, yeah, unfortunately, I did not recognize um, the name at first glance, but then uh, I was told because I haven't seen 24. At least. And you're just unfamiliar with the actor. And so. I'm unfamiliar with the actor, but yeah, when we played Ground Zeroes, I was like, oh, I don't know who Kiefer. Oh, there are more dudes. What am I hearing? Oh, helicopter. You, people are getting messed up in this game, La Bamba. Oh, they are. It started with what is that? Oh, enemy helicopter? Oh, that is our helicopter. 
I do like that they're using the native language of the area that we're in. It wasn't even. It's uh, it's Russian. The Russian soldiers oh. in Afghanistan. These are Russian soldiers. Yeah. Um, yeah. well, I was just thinking, I remember in previous yes. games. Yes? Uh-oh. It's them. It's who? I love it. Yeah. This is right up Audrey's alley. Okay, what is this? Um, I mean, we did notice the references earlier. Boss, Aerosol. It's the skulls. skulls. Oh, yeah. Don't okay. What was it called again? <laughs> yeah, the Skulls par Parasite Unit. We can't see through it. I'm changing the RV so it's outside the mist. The know, mist! Ga uh, gas. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. Black fog. They're not letting me... I have to go through them? What did they say? Don't let them spot you or whatever? I can't go this way. That's outside the mission area. I mean... How... Is that bad? Oh, what is this? I imagine... Oh! oh! Run? Oh! Oh, Whoa. dude, this is awesome. Okay, I thought... Okay, I think they were setting it up so that we had no choice but to be spotted. Uh, okay. Oh. Just so we could see that. That was pretty sweet. Dude, this music is hype. Right, so here's the oh! thing. Oh, <laughs> oh, dude, Audrey loves this. Uh, I'm getting... um. I need to look back at my notes. Like this open world environment, it's got to be so hard for them to script these encounters. That's yeah. Difficult to, to ensure that we go the quote unquote right way. And what were the name of those enemies in Metal Gear Solid 4? Wait. Oh, uh, not the geckos. No, but the, they they were common, like, very often fighting alongside their geckos. The yeah. I think they were, like, the female soldiers. Frogs, thank you. The frogs, thank you. And the ones that, like, would, like, scream when, when they were attacking. Anyway, that kind of vibe. I'm kind of getting that kind of vibe yeah, definitely. here. Yeah, <laughs> Raptor missed the moo. Yeah, 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 yeah. The horse is the obstruction. The horse is the obstruction. It's the frogs. Are we going in? Are we also going in? Okay. Nice. Bye, horsey, I guess. Oh, yeah, huh? Oh! oh. <laughs> what just happened? They got built in Fulton. Wait, <laughs> I, I wanted to see that again. <laughs> okay. We have Fulton! Yeah. We have Fulton. Fulton confirmed. Fulton confirmed. Yeah. What a way to <laughs> remind us. Code name Chick. Chick Run. Chick! We got these. We love it. Chick Runs. Okay. It loads him on like he's cargo. He's fine. Kaz. Oh. What? Oh, uh, little credits for each, mi each mission. Oh. He did this for the side ops in uh, Ground Zeroes, too. Oh, really? I wonder why. 
just want to acknowledge the team that worked on that particular mission, if that makes sense. I see. Fulton Technology has evolved since 1974. Has it? <laughs> I guess we're, we're Fultoning horses now, so yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what our new home is, Seychelles. Hey. That was some operation we had, huh? Nine years ago. Carving out our own world. Making our own future. And they took it away. Play just like a damn fiddle, he said. Oh, yeah. This guy is not Together, the that we can call rat. home. Yeah, we were dogs, all right. Slinking around out of cipher sight. Digging up whatever kind of dirty money we could find. You name it. We did it. You see this? Diamond dogs. Our new home. The phantom of our former selves. Triumph. Death. They weren't allowed either. Yeah. I remember it all. Oh, flashback. Hey, Kimmy, what's up? Hey, Kimmy. Yeah, the credits stuff after every mission. Every mission is treated like a TV episode, uh huh? Uh huh. Oh, I see. That is interesting. Yeah, it kind of takes me out out of it a little bit when yeah. I see credits. Oh. No problem, Kimmy. Thanks for the alert, Kimmy. Like a damn fiddle! Help me, Snake. Chico. It all ends soon, exactly as I've planned. No! Give my regards to your boss when you get home. Full white loading scene. Loading screen. Love it. <laughs> yeah. Um. Any time after this is a good time for tapes, Snake. Ash. Gotcha. Thank comments. you. Why are we still here? Just to suffer. Oh. Why are we still Every night. I feel like I've heard that before. It's the meme. My leg and my arm. Oh. It's a meme now, but yeah. Even my fingers. Into pain. Phantom limb syndrome. Yeah. The comrades had lost. Wrote a paper on that at school. Won't stop hurting. It's like they're all still there. <laughs> you feel it too, don't you? I'm the one who got caught up with Cypher. A group above nations. Even the US. And I was the parasite below, feeding off Zero's power.
boss. Tell me. Oh. Tell me like you used to. Have we seen a close up of the piece like that yet? Of a what? Of the the, the piece of bone in, in his skull. It was there. Oh man, I, I didn't get a good look of it uh, yeah. until just now. So well, we don't know what parts are bones and what parts are what. Uh, oh, I see. Okay, never mind then. Because there was other stuff too. I see. Never mind. Bone, teeth, metal still, I'm sure. He said the thing, the famous speech. Gotcha. Became a meme at the trailer. Things have changed, boss. We pull in money, recruits. Just a combat cipher. Rubbing our noses in bloody battlefield dirt. All for revenge. The world calls for wet work, and we answer. No greater good. No just cause. Cause. Cypher sent us to hell. But we're going even deeper. I know. I'm already a demon. Ooh. Heaven's not my kind of place anyway. <laughs> trying to help. Mm, but he doesn't want to feel like, yeah. you know, helpless. Dogs of war for nine whole years. That ends today. Now you're not sleeping, and we're not junkyard hounds. We're diamond dogs. Let them talk. We can crush Cypher, boss. This is you such can an build intense the army that can do it. Has. Just one thing, cause. This isn't about the past. We're fighting for the future. I don't know if that's gonna click with him right away. I feel sad for for Cass. Yeah. In the previous, I mean, before before all this, he was still, you know, generally. Boss, there's something cheery. I want to talk about. Cheery, yeah. It concerns the running of UK. Oh. This base belongs to you now. Make diamond. We get to walk around the base. Pretty sweet. Like any that is so cool. We need good people, and we need I to mean, make good use of their talents. Miller asked me to lay that out for you. So cool. Bolton. Start bringing people in. Oh, it is! Use this. Oh my god. It's a Fulton recovery device. We know what it is. When you're in the field, use it to extract any soldiers or prisoners you want back here. And we'll see if we can't persuade them to join the ranks of Diamond Dogs. Go on. Test it out on Test the staff Anyone you want. First, Oops. put them to sleep. Oh my god. You can, you can do it on Ocelot? Don't pull any punches. Oh, this guy's the best. Oh, remember, remember in the tutorial of, uh, was it Peace Walker? Hmm. The guy who was just like, I don't know. Oh, yeah. I can't be against her. Yeah, yeah. Like, there was a good one, sir. So, ah, something like Brass that. armadillo. Now extract it. Yeah, like Kimmy. Light. Now approach him and extract it. Oh, is it not something I have to equip? Cause is just, yeah, he went through, he went through hell. Neutralize. Yeah, you get to walk around the base. La Bamba, this is what I wanted in Peace Walker. Okay. Oh, so it's a separate thing. I don't, ha I don't think I have to equip it. Oh, nice. You just got a triangle. Yeah. Neat. Oh. Now extract it. Good. Oh. How does it work? Oh! Extraction, Extraction complete. arrived. You can only bolt and recover someone if they're not resisting it. No dead bodies either. They don't make great recruits. The staff member you just extracted will be assigned to the team. Best yes, auto assigned. I want to see the Fulton yourself. drop him off on the base too, because it looks like it takes him straight to base now, right? Not to like some helicopter. 
Shoot Ocelot? Oh my gosh. Yeah. Okay, I'll do it. I but in the future, don't tell me to do that stuff. Okay, okay. Just in case. I mean, that's what I thought you were going to try. No, I wouldn't even. That oh, won't that won't work. work. Okay, okay. okay. <laughs> Are we just trying it out more? Select staff management from the other oh. base. Oh, man. This is cool. Like Peace doing Walker it all stuff. while you're walking around. Yeah. Yeah. Staff member was placed on the R and D team. Nice. The R and D team is in charge of developing all kinds of weapons and items that will support you on missions. Take a look at the development list. Select weapons items under the development heading. Um, you can do this stuff from the field too during missions. Nice. Oh, okay, so you don't have to be on the base. Oh, so anytime you have a down down time, you can do this. That's kind of nice. Um, Snake says you can try again if you want. Hey, Lurberry, how you doing? Oh, uh, how's the new game going? It's Please pretty exciting, Lurberry. It is wild already. Like, um, Okay. Like previous Metal Gear Solid games, Boss, this one away from home. has is already wild. It's taken off. Popping off. Individuals you've knocked out. Why don't you try and knock someone out with CQC? Show them how it's done, Bobs. Oh! Oops, I got the wrong guy. It's supposed to be this guy. Oh, it is? No, he said anybody. Extraction arrived at Mother One thing I should mention. Fulton extraction successful. If the person is injured, the shock of it could kill them. Oh. Oh. The unfavorable. Well, oh. Going missing. There are the considerations now. The person you want to extraction arrived be sure you can get them out. Best carry them to the chopper yeah. instead. Oh. oh, wow. Now that we have more people on the R&D team, its level has gone up. It should be able to develop the cardboard. Select weapons items under the oh. development heading. Yeah, we need more people to develop a cardboard now, box. No, what? Cardboard <laughs> box and start development. Just be aware that development <laughs> requires funds. Development yeah. has finished. Please select a You can have the support point. unit supply you with weapons and items you've developed. Think of it as your Supplies own personal requested. delivery service. <laughs> I can just imagine, like, strolling up to the R&D team for the cardboard box, and they'll be like, okay, get this, sir. It's called the love box. <laughs> and it has a heart next to it. <laughs> yes, it comes in pink. Yeah. <laughs> Poor Ocelot doesn't know the power of the cardboard box devil. I don't think that it does, or that he does. And there it is. Not sure what it's good for, but Miller said. The cardboard box, Kimmy. Try it out. One last thing. The staff members you extracted were all placed on the R and D team, but that was Miller's decision. If you think they belong somewhere else, you're free to move them around. Well, yeah, I needed to recruit that guy so he could unfold the box. It's very specialized roles on our base. Open your eye droid and select a landing zone to tell it where to pick you up. Or if you're still in the mood for knocking guys on their asses, you can stay around here a while. Give them in some practice. Just come pay me a visit. Oh, wow. So you literally go up to the helicopter to depart on a mission. All right, let me just play around with the menu real quick. Okay, mother base stuff, development, staff management. Don't have that yet. Left and right is command platform, R&D. Are we just looking at overall info? Okay. We got the map. Oop. What is that? Shower. Okay. Uh, missions. Request support helicopter. Oh, so we can we depart like from here? No. Oh, uh, this is our current mission. Oh, the mission is to depart. Huh. Pro tip: take the shower every time you're here. Okay. Is that a real? Is that real? Is that like life advice? Is this the shower? Oh, because he is covered in blood. Dang it! This 
silicone tip keeps falling off my. Oh uh, yeah. Mentally and physically refreshed, it yeah, said. There we go. Nice. That was. You didn't even have to remove your clothing. Ball hazard. Uh. Oh, you did, can you train here? And do the, the pull-up grip. grip training thing. Oh. Oh, I broke the light. Someone's gonna fix that, right? <laughs> it's fine. We Dude, this is a full place you can just walk around. This is so cool. And it's gonna get bigger as we expand. Pretty cool. But we can actually choose a place for our Taco for the Bell. Taco Bell and the yeah. Starbucks. The Mickey D's. Yeah. Dang. Okay. Um I'm not sure how I feel about the uh Oh yes, let's begin by grabbing it. Okay. Let's practice. Oh, sorry, dude. Broke a light, minus 300 GMP. Interrogate him, knock him out, kill him. That checks out. Scratch that last one. Go ahead and knock him out. I'm ready, boss. <laughs> what? Oh, You're ready. I got one already. Shower is important. Wallace, are you talking about real life or in the game? I'm just kidding. Yeah, it sounds like uh, showering is a pretty uh, what? critical game mechanic. <laughs> Fulton's so funny. The Fulton is really funny. I think it was supposed to be this guy. <laughs> Extraction arrived at Motivation. It doesn't matter. Oh, okay. Which guy? Extract the staff here. It's supposed to be this guy. I'm messing up. No, no, no. It's fine. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think it matters. Poor guy. Did that count? Extraction. Okay, I'm gonna say that counted. Yeah, completed task. Five out of five. Go ahead and call the chopper from your eye droid. Go ahead and call the chopper from your eye droid. Okay. Uh. Please select landing zone. This is Nice. Um, says there's a shortcut for calling the helicopter if you want to know. Sure. Was that not the short? I mean, that seemed pretty fast, but maybe there's a shorter way. Consecutive CQC. We love it. Gotcha. Are we heading out though? I don't know. Or we're we just, just seeing the helicopter. On the map, just hit up or down instead of tabbing over. Sweet. Understood. Thank you, Lababa. What a cool shot. Yeah. I would just love and that to you can actually go there. Around. Look, and there's, yeah, there. there's like under construction. Yeah. How cool is this? Um. Wait. So Snake's eye is okay? Can we ask? Not really. It doesn't seem like it. It hasn't been okay for a long time. Yeah. Extraction arrived at mother base. Dang. Development project. Don't hesitate to frequent the mother base. Noted. Oh, will. Noted. You know what I'm missing? Uh, what? Ocelot doesn't feel like Ocelot to me. I, You know, because I feel like every time... I mean, not to say his entrance in this game was not, you know, dramatic. He came in on horseback and everything. But, you know, he's always like, you know, flipping his guns. Yeah, we and definitely need more. I, doing a thing I like agree. that. This also is like weirdly low key to me. Yeah. You're right? It's not just me, right? I think it's it the feels voice changes different. Too. Yeah, for sure. Has been 20 Oh, years. the voice changes? Sure, 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 sure. But there was a voice change from. Mission list updated. Two to Boss, three, right? I know you haven't been back long, but I prepared a list of missions for you. Open your eye droid. What is this triangle right now? Oh. Okay, well, I missed it. I missed a chance to press triangle. That's okay. Um, 2100 GMP to call for the light? Oh, well. <laughs> take it out of our paycheck. It's fine. Oh, we're still in I'll full slot mellowed out. Well, right he now. is, you know. He's getting up there. 
Please select he just needs to find his second win, I'm baby. I'm job offers Diamond Dogs has received and made a list of those I want you to consider. Which ones you accept is your call. The objectives of the missions I've added are prisoner rescue, facility sabotage, and high-value target elimination. Probably all a walk in the park for you, but they should help you get back on your feet. Okay. I put the mission details on a cassette tape. Nice. Refer to it if you decide to accept the mission. We'll receive GMP for completing missions, and extracting soldiers and prisoners will boost our ranks. Building up Mother Base is the first step to achieving our goal. Okay. If that means wet work, so be it. We're gonna have to get our hands dirty. I hope you're rested up, because we're not stopping. Not until the pain is gone. Dude, this the future of Diamond cause Dogs is so is intense. Hands. Yeah. We're counting on you, boss. Punished cause. Yeah, actually. Like, he used to have, like, a playfulness, even in his mission yeah. briefings, but now it's all, like, we're gonna get these MFers kind of thing. Could be you're used to him being an enemy, now he's a friend, Fry Sauce. That could be it, too. Oh, yeah, you're right. We can do it all from here. But I... I don't know. What do you... It's like a com well, complete 180 personality. In three, he's more immature than in one... Or two. That's true, too. That's true, too. I think I'm remembering still in one, though. You know, he comes out with, like, all the gun tricks and uh, things like that. You know, a show. He puts on a show a little bit. This one's not, not super showy. He's basically a child in three. He is. He's, he's 20 years old in three, Please I think. Specify a project. Okay. Right. A lot of stuff to develop. Um, it's the save zone if we need to save. Okay. Thank How you, do we Snake. Save? Oh, the other side. Oh, triangle was the cassette button. Oh, it just goes straight to the cassette tape. Nice. Okay, I think that's like a... All autosave. Okay, so there's no manual saves at all? Oh, okay. Okay. Um, I guess that's like their suggestion. Like, hey, you can listen to the cassette tapes here. Please select a mission. Okay. Let's just listen to a couple of cassette tapes. Yeah, let's do it. Okay. Miller told me about what happened in the Caribbean nine years ago. You do remember Miller. You'd formed a private army with him. An army with no allegiance to a nation. I remember, but I see. You're not sure what's fact and what's a fantasy caused by the coma. It's still all a mess, huh? All I can do is tell you the facts as they were told to me. I've gone easy on you up until now, but this is where the hard stuff begins. 1974, the year before you entered your coma. You were in Colombia, mm -hmm. operating with a small this unit of men, you. basically mercenaries. Miller was among them. Miller was trying to find a way to turn his it? and your talents into a line of work. He was looking to start a business where you would fight on behalf of others around the world, those who needed military force. But the reality was, at that time, you didn't have enough gear to equip your own men. Then Miller came across this client. It was a huge job he was offering, but you had a shot at pulling it off. You accepted it and headed into Costa Rica. The client even threw in an offshore facility in the Caribbean. Dude, this is the, the entirety of Peace Walker. Yeah. The base of or at least the beginning right now. Miller sure did have a head for business. As your mission went on, your unit grew and grew. More weapons, more money. Before you knew it, you were commanding 300 men. As the organization got bigger, your military power swelled to match. It got so the international community couldn't afford to ignore you. Mm -hmm. You were just too damn successful for your own good. You, your men, had worn out Check your Check the welcome. cassette. Everyone was out for you. East, west, Ooh, first yeah, world, yeah. third. It was only a matter of time before someone took you down. It's the rest of it is. XOF. Yeah. So, okay, then now they're talking about XOF. They're an anti terror. XOF is anti terror under the CIA, okay. In reality, they're Cypher's private strike force. They lured you to Cuba using Chico, the Nicaraguan revolutionary kid, and Paz, a mole who worked for Cypher as bait. While you were gone, XOF, posing as a nuclear inspection team, stormed Mother Base. At the same time, C4 they placed on the strut legs went off. The whole thing went down in minutes. XOF. 
kisses and hugs followed by a big F. Oh, that's what it's that stands for? Blind spot. Damn. A back door into Mother Base no one suspected. Or maybe that's not what you it stands for. a certain scientist? Huey was responsible for bringing the inspection okay. team on board. <gasps> giving the enemy a perfect opportunity to hit you Wait. at home. You were returning from okay. Cuba when it happened. Mother Base came damn close to taking you with it into the Caribbean. Those of your men out on assignment returned right away. They refused to believe the wreckage in the water they found was Mother Base. But they checked the coordinates mm. again and again until reality finally settled in. You were supposed to die that day. That was XOF's primary objective. As far as most folks know, you did. The first doctor to see you wasn't even sure what he was looking at. Before they'd even finished operating, your men moved you to that hospital in Cyprus. It was a woman named Eva who arranged that. Rings a bell, hmm? Most men in your condition would have been written off right from the start. Saved us, dude. But you survived. You went straight down to hell. How does she even know where we you. were? And your eye wide open. We can find this. Full of venom. The days of naked snake are long gone. Welcome back, venom snake. This world still needs you. Okay. Venom Snake is a Your pretty snake, cool name. Yeah. A prosthetic arm. Okay. See? Uh, Miller was calling it the arm that wasn't there. The physiotherapy's going well. Your arm's bulked up enough for it to fit. There. Perfect. A little time with it, and it'll work better than the real thing. What do you think? Huh. I can still feel my real arm. Well, you better get used to this one quick. You have any pain? Every now and then. Mm. Where? My fingertips. My left fingertips. Uh, sounds like phantom pain. Your brain still remembers your old hand. Yeah. What about your vision? Can you see okay? Yeah. At the moment. Now the shrapnel in your skull is pressing on your optic nerve. Dude. I'm Visions. Any hard impact could have an effect on your visual oh. cortex. Yeah. The doctor mentioned that. Your brain might process visual information incorrectly. In other words. Right. You could have hallucinations. Yeah. You might see things that aren't there, and not see things as they really are. You experience any of that? I think so. When? Right after I wake up. Colors look faded. Colors, huh? Well, that's not a major concern in and of itself, but it could mean the difference between life and death in the field. You'll need to watch out for that. I will. Colors. All right. It's going to be important. You should continue your physio. We'll be arriving soon. It's the last chance you'll get. Okay. <laughs> they said the name. Drink. And you drink every time they say Phantom Pain. Yeah, C4 on Strut. If that's okay. I'm sorry. Even the non-yellow ones, I think these might be important. Sure. Let's yeah. Let's take a listen. Osla. I hear they started calling you Shalashaska in Afghanistan. Mm -hmm. What's that about? <laughs> you know the term Sharashka? It's slang for a suspicious, hastily thrown together organization. The word became associated with a type of forced labor facility in the Soviet Gulag system. OKB scientists and engineers who'd been convicted of crimes were sent to a Sharashka for forced R&D. The Sharashkas were supervised by Lavrenti Berea of the NKVD, the secret police, under the official name, Fourth Special Department. Forced research? That's not very different from what we do here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Diamond Dogs is different. Everyone here believes in you. Regardless of where they came from or why they're here, they revere you. And they're fighting because it was their choice. And if it wasn't, they'd leave? Who knows? That's our reality here, whether it's real or not. If there's another truth, I don't want to know it. All that matters is that's the concept that's taken shape in their heads. The traces of a group ideology, our superstructure, to put it in Marxist terms. All right. Go on. Right. So anyway, at some point, the enemy started calling me Sharashka. This was after the war in Afghanistan broke out. While I was keeping an eye on you in that hospital, I was also heading up interrogations here. The men I broke gave up their comrades and families everything they wanted to protect the most. No real cause for it. 
I just let myself get caught up in the old Russian pride. Oh, a lot in his interrogation. Yeah. Honor of becoming special interrogation advisor. Can button mash fast enough? Yeah. Camps. But the more men I interrogated, the more people saw me as just that, the interrogator. It helped cover my real objective of keeping you safe. You went that far for me. Far enough to keep you alive. I ended up being pretty well known among the Afghan guerrillas. Some of them would have seen me on the battlefield. And that's how I got the second half of the name. Shashka. It's a sword. A type of saber from the Caucasus. Russian dragoons and Cossacks carry them into battle. Shashka. Now the Russian Empire had a general by the name of Fyodor Arturovich Keller. His bravery earned him the nickname Russia's Greatest Shashka. Someone must have known about that. Because somewhere along the line, Shashka got stuck on the end of Sharashka. The guerrillas were using the Dude. name amongst themselves. And by the time I got to hearing about it, pronunciation had wound up as Shala Shashka. So half Gulag, half hero sword. It was a perfect fit. But you see how rumors and ideas about people can get out of hand fast. Once you create a character and put it out there in public mind, it warps and twists with every baseless rumor. And before you know it, all people see are phantoms. In my case, it works out just fine. I'm plenty used to working under aliases. Dude, yeah. you gotta wonder, because, like, we just, we just got a montage, but they spent 10 days going from Cyprus to uh, Afghanistan. So, a lot of conversations. Sure, that was quite a detailed uh, yeah. story. Yeah, so much detail, Obama. They're pretty long. Yeah, Ash said it's funny. You notice the, the, ca the colors. I thought something, something was broken. Hospital. That's why. Oh, it you It was out did. of concern for like, is the stream broken? Oh. <laughs> is the game broken? Oh, that's interesting. But, yeah. but it was a deliberate thing. Yeah. Yeah, wow. Um, Good eye. The title of these two seem important. I first met you 20 years ago now. The place was Selenuyarsk in the Soviet Union. Yeah, I remember. We were enemies. <laughs> I was with the Gru. You were still fighting for America. 1964. Is this just going to recap all of Snake Eater? Its objective? <laughs> Zero created cipher. An information network. It looks like it. It sounds like it. Woven together, cipher's arteries make the world okay, information just one organism. And that's not all. It also monitors the thorn in Zero's side. That's you. Tracking your coordinates wherever you might go. The further you strayed from your roots, the larger Zero became. It's as if he was trying to close the gap between you. But before long, he disappeared from public life. Only a few people had direct contact okay, with we him. We kind of understood this. For a time, I was one of them. Then a year after you fell into your coma, he slipped out of sight entirely. Since then, nothing. No photos, no recordings, not even a reliable rumor as to his whereabouts. I tried every method I could think of, but Zero was gone. Freed of his control, his creation, his power continued to grow. This is what we understood about what he created. Cypher is a great beast, and Zero was its spine. But even without him, it's endured, <laughs> evolved. Good. But now its body is rotting riddled with parasites parasites like the ones who attacked you nine years ago in the caribbean and then at the hospital cypher's black ops unit xof they learned where you were and came to wipe the slate clean so, so cypher has like no oversight like who if zero's not really it's ai now. i know yeah so it's just it's just going and it's Doing all these the war machine. I mean, we see the effects in Metal Gear Solid 2, right? Yeah, we do. And the beginnings of it are probably Peace Walker with the uh, AI experimentation and stuff. Yeah. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if Cypher snatched up Strangelove, you know? Yeah. I mean, Zero, I mean, he did it. It's That's kind of pretty impressive. He just, like, yeah. set up this thing and was like... Do your thing. Do I'm going to bounce. Do your thing. Yeah. He's wow. just trying to catch up in one piece. <laughs> wow. Well, well, the world, what? Yeah, the war machine. Yeah, he needed yeah. that time. That's definitely, his motivation. He's definitely catching up on some anime. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm the man on is... fire's weakness. Snake, I wanted to ask you about the man on fire. 
What do you remember from the hospital? Anything we can use? Well, he took off the moment the sprinklers started up. Sprinklers? The fire system? And when he got sprayed with water from the burst pipe, it slowed him down. When we escaped on horseback, he wouldn't cross the river either. I see a theme. And then it started to rain. And he disappeared. Water against fire. Is it that simple? I mean, it makes sense. It's just hard to believe it would work on a guy like that. Gotcha, Rafa. All right. Um, I don't want to, like, bog it down by listening to yeah. too many. The yellow ones, oh, at least. Oh, thanks for checking on that, yeah, Rafa. thank you. Yeah. They All make right. they make it sound simple, but maybe it's not that simple. It's got to be tied in with that other character. I feel like which other character? The uh, baby mantis, the one we suspect baby is mantis, baby mantis. Yeah. yeah, definitely, they were tied together for sure. Yeah. But like, is it more the hallucination stuff that we're wondering about? Uh, oh, because when he said, "Tell me more about the man on fire that you saw," uh -huh. Ocelot was saying that to. No, but Ocelot was there when we were escaping the man on fire. Oh, that's right? true. He saw that too. You're right. You're right. 100% right. right. Unless, unless uh, he interpreted whatever that was or wh he saw something different. From yeah. And we just haven't really yeah. hashed it out yet, maybe. <gasps> what is real? What is fake? I, I don't know. Nervous. Oh, I'm nervous too. Punished Venom Snake. Yeah, did you know anything about the names? Uh, I the think name? I've heard Punished Snake before. Yeah, for sure. But, but not I, Venom Snake. But not Venom Snake. Okay. So Punished Snake I had heard. Um, I, I didn't know about the you know, Ahab, Ishmael. Mm -mm. I didn't click until today that that was a Moby Dick reference. Yeah, I wasn't familiar with yeah. uh, that reference in the first place. So um that's interesting. Yes. So we're going to end it for now. We got a good Dude. intro, but I do have a question for you guys who are familiar. Um, if you're around for Peace Walker, you know that in between streams, I did some of the side ops mm -hmm. to uh, just kind of grind and research some materials and stuff so that we had gear for uh, on stream. Mm -hmm. My question is, that's, is that going to be viable in this game? Because even in Peace Walker, there were moments where I accidentally would, uh, I just did a couple side ops and all of a sudden story started progressing and it auto saves. Oh. So then I just like shut down the game because I didn't want to miss, I didn't Any want Audrey to miss anything. Stuff. Yeah. yeah. Do side ops on stream, I'd say that some are more major than others. That will happen here too. Dang. Side ops on stream. Okay. 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 My only concern okay, great. is Thank if you, it's everyone. like, if we have to do repetitive, irrelevant side ops, that'll be super boring for Audrey. That's okay. So I'm happy that's to be all. here. I'm just happy to be involved. Yeah. Side stuff is repeatable. My Okay. My concern is like It'll the pace of the stream. So oh, that's all. That's sure, all. sure, sure, sure. So, but if you guys think that it's, it's enjoyable to do and watch on stream, then I'll try to keep it on stream. Oh, if anything, do tapes while doing repetitive side offs. So at least there's some like, you know, story. I'll have to get used to that because that was incredibly hard yeah, multitasking Yeah, because you're me. playing. Yeah, I'm trying to play. And you're also listening yeah. to all these conversations. Um, yeah, we'll we'll figure it out. If maybe maybe I can uh, I can give you the the. Uh, if you get to a certain point. Abbreviated version. Yeah, you can grind old side missions once they're completed. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Gotcha. I'll trust you guys then. Mm -mm. Okay. Okay. All right. We'll keep it on stream for now. It was drawing during main missions, maybe more palatable during side ops. Okay. Okay. That's a, that's a great way to put it. Okay. Okay. I have to get used to it. Mm. Very different. Mm. I don't play a lot of open world games. I've only played one, I think. Yeah. And uh, the way that I do play the open world games, yeah. I always worry is like, wouldn't be entertaining to watch. Well, because you obsess. I obsess. Yeah. Combing over every inch of every everything. There's definitely someone out there who appreciates that. For sure. Yeah. I mean, play how you want to play. And I will be here yeah. to Thank you guys. Enjoy thank you guys for the the offering up the help. Really appreciate it. Mm, yeah, Rob uh, Thor, thank you. Mm. Yeah. Um, good stuff. It's, I love the vibe. 
I'm so into it. I love the parasites. When they like come out and they, like, they're all like uh, twitchy a little bit. Yeah, that was pretty intense. That was intense. Um, we got this man on fire. We got, I don't know. We're just going to call him Baby Mantis. We don't actually know who I like is. the name though. I like the name that you gave him. Baby Mantis? <laughs> Baby Mantis. Do, 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 I don't really do. consider this as open world as most open world games because you're flying back to base a lot. Yeah, it's mm. definitely still has that Peace Walker vibe. Right. Where Mission based? Where, where it was kind of like monster hunter vibes right right right. oh monster hunter yeah yeah. well it is one big old map but then you're like just flying out to do a mission at a time what is that cat um that genre or that 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 style what do you call mission based open world i don't know objective based open world yeah i don't know know. Mm. maybe there is a name for that but that the flavor of open world yeah yeah play the way you want to play yep exactly rafa um oh man i'm so excited yeah, a lot of questions. I do agree with you that it was just jarring, but maybe it there's an element of it. It has to. It's supposed to feel jarring because all of a sudden it's nine years later for Snake. Uh, um, what do you mean? Oh, like jarring as in? As like, oh, we're here and there's already a new mother base, and then we're with Ocelot and we're uh, just going on the mission, and there's all these things established already. Uh-huh, uh-huh. It was jarring for us. We're like, oh. I'm not used to this new ocelot, yeah. right? Oh, right, 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 right. But maybe all of it's equally jarring mm-hmm. for punished Venom Snake. Yeah, yeah. And maybe that's part of the experience. Yeah. And that's what's just going on for him yeah. and for us. Uh, yeah, totally. Yeah. Um, God, what an opening, too. Yeah, nonstop, shaky cam. Yeah, <laughs> that, that's true. Brutal violence. Slasher film. Yeah. Esque. Horror vibes, for yeah, sure. Yeah, totally horror vibes. Pretty cool. And then freaky freakos. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I I I wonder how it can maintain that intensity. Yeah. Th- for the rest of this game, if it can, or maybe it'll ebb and flow. Or if it should, yeah. Or if it should, yeah. But man, that was like intense. That mm. was really intense. Um. What do what, what do we do? Where do we go from here? I don't know. But we're just rebuilding. Yeah, I mean, it seems like the next couple of missions are just to reacquaint me with um, mission types. Sure. Take out a target, collect this thing, sabotage that. And then I'm yeah. sure story is going to progress yeah. with that. But we got Ava name drop was pretty sweet. That's right. We haven't seen um, Skull Face yet. If anyone pos- wants to post it on the Discord, we missed out on listening to the Ava tape, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. Feel free to post it on the Discord, the uh, debriefing room, maybe with spoiler tags. That'd be great. That would yeah. be helpful. Yeah, yeah. Um, I'm excited. Yeah, we're in this first playthrough for both of us. Yeah, I'm excited that it's the first playthrough for both of us. I was nervous just because all of these last pay- playthroughs for like the last year have been me kind of like guiding, g- being a tour guide for yeah. you. So yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. a little nervous. I'm like, as okay. a tour guide, I already knew what was to come. Yeah, so I could kind of like shape the experience. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But this is like the big unknown for me. Yeah. So hopefully it's a good time for you. Oh. Hopefully, it's a good time for Audrey. Oh, I'm having yeah, a good having time. Fun. Yeah, if anything, if we need to, I can always try to pull up a guide and, like, not look too far ahead and if we need some sort of guidance, you know. Yeah. So I don't want I don't want you to feel too pressured about, like, trying to maintain a certain pace or something like that. I'm, I'm, I'm excited. Yeah, mm. it's the gosh dang cassette tapes, but... Cassette tapes. We'll deal with them we, as they come that up. That we shall. So thank you guys for watching. Thanks Check so our much. schedule. Mm. I've got some more uh, Final Fantasy V tomorrow. Mm-hmm. And then next next week is just more of everything. Audrey is now playing Earthbound. Mm-hmm. So she'll be continuing that on Monday. Yep. More Metal Gear Solid Five on Wednesday next week. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Thank you, guys. Very exciting. Uh, so here's some links in chat for you. Uh, YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, Discord. YouTube.com slash Rini. Higher quality recordings of our streams go there. So if you want to watch our VODs. Check out YouTube or here. Up to you. Totally up to you. Um, we also have this beautiful spreadsheet. Games played. I probably got to update it. It's an awesome spreadsheet. Very useful for um, new viewers. It just lists everything we've streamed. Mm. Just so you have a good idea of what kinds of things we like to play. Mm-hmm. And it'll give you a link directly to the VODs. So it's a, it's kind of a nice way to see uh, what else have we played and what, what you want to watch. I think we're going to try to find someone to raid right now. Yeah, sounds like a plan. Um, yeah, why are we still here just to suffer? <laughs> I feel like I want to use that quote in real life now. Um, Thanks, yeah. Snake. Thanks for the uh, kind words. And yeah, yeah 
And Ash, yeah, once you get into it, it's pretty straightforward. Appreciate it kind of seems like it just do the missions, but yeah. Um. Oh, yeah, and thank you too, Snake. I think, yeah, we're going to find someone to raid, but just we want to thank you all again so much. So, so much. My name is Audrey. And I'm Anthony. Together, we're Rhiany. See you again soon. Good night, everyone.